Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yogscast Retro Week. Today, me and Ben are playing Magic the Gathering Online Arena. Yeah. Um, it's actually just called Magic the Gathering Arena, I think. Magic the Gathering. Um, Arena. Magic the Gathering is a very old game. I played it when I was very young. Yeah, I was. What I was doing, and I really enjoyed it. I think I played it early 90s was my first Magic experience. We've been doing some Magic the Gathering videos on Games Night, and an hour ago... Uh, they sent us the um, early access version of Ravnica. Yeah. The new, the latest set of cards for Magic the Gathering Arena. And we have had about half an hour to look through. And <laughs> yeah. we decided that... I was like, Ben, let's do a tournament. Let's make loads of decks and stuff. Yeah. And um, But it turns out it's really hard to make loads of decks in 20 minutes. And it also turns out that... Um, we don't know the new set. We don't well. know the set. We don't know <laughs> what the synergies are. Yeah. And so um, currently... Look, me making a deck. <laughs> oh my God. With all the but precision. You're making of an is it deck. Making an is it deck. So this is a sponsor stream, by the way. Um, They've given us... Th this. The best part of this is not playing Magic and it's not getting paid. It is having an account with four of every single card unlocked. That's true. It's very useful <laughs> to try new stuff out. But it is also... So daunting. Like, where do you even start making a deck? Well, I think, Ben... When you've got every card in the world. Well, we're going to put some rules down for a start. Only the new stuff. So, Ravnica, Icon only. Um, Maybe some M19 stuff? Uh, yeah. Because yeah, like the core set. You could use M19, I suppose. If there's very key, like... If you need it. Mythic rares that you need or whatever. Um, oh, my God. I can see you building a little deck. So, we're going to have a series of games. Let's, let's just, just pause that deck building for a second, Ben. Oh, I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. Look. Ah, oh, two cards over. Well, I don't need like two of these. Uh, okay, I'm done. Wow. Done so. Well, well. Oh, ben makes a deck. Matt, shall we just do the guilds? Because the the, Rav <laughs> the guilds of Ravnica are a thing. Um, I want to make a, a, a. We should have a, a guild off. Guild off. Guild wars. Yeah. That's a different game. Okay. No, fine. Do you know what? Let's let's just. <laughs> well, I've, I've got four decks made of of the five guilds. Have you? So I need to make one more. Wow, they are very half half half. Haphazardly well, I've had 20 though. minutes, and there's four of them, so that means I've spent an average of five minutes per deck. <laughs> 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 let's let's just get ourselves into Magic by because there are five pre-mates. We should play against each other we with should those. should try the pre-mates. And I also want to try out my Goblins, Goblins, Goblins deck. What is that? What, what do you think it is? <laughs> I assume it's, it's just again. mostly Goblins. <laughs> yeah. um, how do I duel you? This is the question. Is it possible to duel a friend? Oh, good but question. We might not even be able to do. We, maybe our whole plan has been what we're dreaming of. There must be a way. Um, Shut up, Navi. I'm trying to find a thing. I think. I, do you know what? I don't know. Is there no friends? Maybe we thing? can't. We haven't unlocked it yet because we haven't. Oh yeah, complete your current quest to access more play modes. So, we both have to play a game. Why don't you take the goblins deck live on the ladder? Oh, okay. And then maybe I'll unlock. The power of friendship. Meanwhile, I'll build a deck that I played last season, which was pretty good, and I did pretty good with it. And I'm sure it's had some additional stuff. Um, it used Angel of Invention. Oh, is that still in, or is that rotated out? Oh, Angel. Oh, it might have. It might. Have, it might be gone now from standard. Oh no, that's a disaster. <laughs> My plan. My plan is. Oh, important. did you have a deck that's already not? I've been playing it loads, yeah, but I guess it's. it's it a lot of those cards are phased out. out. Oh, that's a disaster. I was really enjoying that deck. So the open beta for this is tomorrow. Okay. So all you folks back home can play tomorrow for free if you like. That's unfortunate, says someone in chat. Oh, what do you think? Like, should I mulligan only two lands? I mean, it's a goblin deck, so it doesn't need much land. Oh, land. No, don't you? Yeah. Well, then again, in your hat. Yeah, well, I've no, got, no deck, deck. I've got these guys. And, and your opponent does go first, so definitely keep. Okay. Because you'll probably draw out the land. <laughs> Chances are. Well, look, you've got two turns at least of uh, playing stuff. So well, here goes a mountain. And a goblin. And a goblin. Goblins, goblins, goblins. <laughs> Did you copy this deck off online somewhere? Or was it kind of a Ben special? It was a, it was a clickety clack. These are goblins. It was a Ben Spencer. <laughs> yeah. Although you've got... So that... what does this guy do? Um, oh, I can pay two mana to... Um, make him To make bigger. him plus two attack. And he helps his friends out. What do you mean he helps his friends out? He's got mentor. So whenever he attacks, he puts a plus one, plus one on another guy who's also attacking. 
who has less power than him. Wow, okay. So buffing him up for plus two attack means he can help out a lot of friends. I see. So how do I how do I trigger his ability? Just click on him. Yeah. Boom. And so then, then I guess you can attack, and he will just. Uh, so, he, so your opponent has to approve. Oh, him. and he's lightning strike the goblin out of existence. You. Denied. <laughs> sure. Oh, he's playing blue red. Hey, True Dawn. He might be streaming. A lot of streamers have been invited to this. Oh, and he might be kicking your ass with goblins. Then again, I don't think many streamers play goblins. Goblins. It's goblins. Not, goblins. Goblins. It's, it's not, not super fun. I'm what do you mean it's not super fun? It's the funnest. You get to go, meh, goblins. I don't know if it, if it is fun. Um, <laughs> there's a new mechanic I saw, other than mental, called Surveil, um, which I was looking at, which I think what it does is it's, it's, like, it's like Scry, except for uh, rather than putting it on the bottom of your library, it goes in the graveyard. Oh. So you can mill yourself a bit, which why, is always a nice... Why do you want to mill yourself? In, in games. Why, don't you, why don't you fucking mill yourself? You <laughs> <laughs> fucking mill yourself. Jerk. Twat. <laughs> um, so this is the beta boom. special early access day. So everyone who's playing... I think everyone who's streamer, playing this, is, they're going to be better than us. No, but anyone who's been given access, I think, has all the cards. Um, they do. So they, they, there should be some properly put together decks. There'll be some here. amazing decks. Um, and people will be trying some really crazy, crazy things as well. So we'll, 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 we'll find we'll out what we'll We'll see if the goblins can withstand the power of good decks. Yeah. I think I've run into a problem. I've run into someone who's got a lot of direct damage from hand, and they are just trashing my goblins as and when they arrive. Uh huh. Um, but I've got this guy. He's given my little goblins plus one plus one. They like the trash master. All attack a I goblin need, power. I need something badass as hell. I need like a badass finisher. I'm sorry, I'm building a little deck. Yeah, to, you to, go for to it. Play. I'm and just, I need. I'm just gobbling this guy up. I'm gobbling him. Need something in good. Him. I could try Bone Dragon. I need, I need like a finisher. So if I'm going to put stuff into my graveyard, I need something to get it back out. I think I could, I've searched for Surveil, and I put most of the cards that have Surveil, I put those in. But now I'm looking for something which I can actually use to summon stuff back. Oh, I see. With, uh, okay. Choose a creature card with converted one Drusome Menagerie. See, this might work. Oh, yeah. Choose a creature card, with, so it, it brings back a creature of mana cost one, then mana cost two, then mana cost three. Okay. All attack, goblin power. Um, damage. Bam, 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 bam. Shall I get? Oh, I need, I need like a. Dude, I've got him on the ropes. He's only got four health left. Are you, are you actually gonna kill this guy? I'm gonna goblin the shit out of him with a lightning strike. <laughs> oh my god, that's. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Goblin power. <laughs> He's, He's on, on one. He's on one. What else you got in your hand? I got a Bane, bane Fire. What does that do? Which is a deal X damage for access oh, to the mana well you cost. He's, he's conceded Ben. And You've been Goblin. You've increased <laughs> your bank <laughs> from beginner <laughs> to a quarter than beginner. of the way through beginner. Congrats. I think you've Man. earned it. Feels good. Oh, you've, you've definitely earned it. Oh, and now I've got some, some bucks. Mm. Um, if I win... If I win one more game, I think I unlock the power of friendship. I see. I'm going to try. Because that'll be my quest done. Or do I need fun? I don't know. We'll see. I think I have to play a few more games. Then where I'm allowed to be your friend. Uh, I need I need, a, I need, a, I need a, um, a deck that I can play to complete my quest. <laughs> 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 but I don't want to run anything really shit. So I'm like, now I'm, I'm in this mindset of like, let me just get a very good deck. <laughs> so part of me wants to just get a load of crap. Well, I reckon just run one of the pre-mades, because I, I ran a pre-made. Basically, I, I was allowed in um, to an hour ago, and I ran one of the pre-made decks, and I won my first game. Really? Okay. So I think there are other people using pre-mades. Fine. Let's play with Graveyard Bash. I want to know what's in black. Oh, look, it's the same guy again. True Dawn. He's oh, back, no. He's back for he's round back two. For second round of getting He wants to be gobbled, gobbled again. <laughs> goblins. One little goblin. This, is, this might as well Makes be a, another a common Ben stream right now. <laughs> no, it's honestly. basically Warhammer, guys. I don't know why anyone's complaining. Mm. Mm. Well, let's mm. see if he can do any better. I used to run that in my Angel of Invention deck. So the deck I used to have yeah. um, had Refurbish in it, which mm. brings back um, an artifact. So it's Godfarer's Gift I was running right. with Refurbish. What does that mean? Godfarer's Gift is a... Seven mana artifact that uh, every time you 
go into your attack phase, mm. it summons a creature out of your graveyard, mm -hmm. tapped and attacking. Tap, well, tapped. Sorry, so that you can attack. It's got haste. Right. Um, so the idea is you put like big demons and big stuff in your graveyard. Uh, like, and you just play them yeah. straight out of your graveyard. But it cheated that Horrible. work because there's a card called Refurbish which lets you bring back an artifact from your graveyard to your to the battlefield. And that's only four mana. Mm. So what you do is you keep milling to put big stuff in your graveyard and big artifacts in your graveyard. Okay. And then you refurbish the artifact which then brings back usually like a big angel. The one they used is Angel of Invention um, which was a really cool... How do I choose to attack his planeswalker? It does summon them as 4-4s, four that's right. But Angel of Invention is only a 2-1 anyway. Um, so, like, it makes it... But it's got, like, it's good. You just click on it like that. Well, that which which, which planeswalker uh, did you summon? Shark Hands. Shark Hands? <laughs> yeah. You know him. I know Shark Hands. He was the one you played. <laughs> yeah. um, incidentally, those decks are on... Up for auction on eBay. I put them up for charity. They are, aren't they? You can play the, the Barry Harry special. You can actually buy the decks that we used on Games Night on eBay if you are so inclined. Or if you want, like, if you, if you, basically, I thought if you play Magic and you want to, and you actually enjoy playing Magic and you want to have, like, because I always liked having quirky stuff in my, in my deck, right? And like, I'm lightning bolting this Like dragon. an exclusive card or like... Um, like yeah, you want something fun. Alternate art, yeah. Or like a full art land. Um, you know, I love that stuff. Who so, doesn't? So, um... Oh, I forgot to... Oh, I was too busy listening. Not. You didn't play another didn't goblin. Play a goblin. Oh, that might lose you the game. It literally might lose me the game. I'm, I'm goblinless. You're low on goblins. <laughs> yeah. So are you buffing the other goblins? Is, this, is that the, the buff the, the No, the buff goblin is, hasn't come out yet. He's like... He is lightning bolting lifting. little goblins. Which feels like a waste, if you ask me. Um, so what, what is my... Um, what is my, like... Yeah, sorry, I didn't... When I said uh, enjoy magic, I meant like actually play physical cards. Real, real. Because a lot of people play life digitally. Magic. Um, I can see why. It's a lot less hassle. Well, if you don't have like a local games store to play other people at Magic, it's sometimes quite tricky. Um, so I certainly used to almost play exclusively online. Mm. Uh, but then I'd have a few fun decks um, to like show off. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have your like prestige yeah. showing off decks. Show off. Nice. Uh, attack. Give him his thing. So I'm playing the black basic deck. What? I, what just happened? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm hitting yeah. a, a poor, poor guy's face. Agents are Mars. He's he's got the basic white deck, I think. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's what you want. You wanted to go up against another basic boy, didn't you? Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have been like you know going, sit, going hard, because um, you know, it's maybe the game knows who's a hard hardman and who's a softman. Sometimes though, what I, what you what the best thing to do I find mm. is to find like a mythic rare that you like, and then build around that. Yeah, because they're they're the most fun. Th oh my god, like this guy has. Look at this. What did he play? There's a, oh, there's a big dragon animation that we t everyone missed. Was it Niv Mizzet? It's this guy. Yeah. A cool hologram dragon appeared, and now I'm in trouble. This spell can't be countered. Shit. What does he say? Flop. What does he do? Um. Whenever you draw a card, he deals the damage. Don't you still win? You just attack and then lightning bolt. Um, well, let's find out, because what does this guy do? Create a goblin with haste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels, there you go. feels like you've won, Ben. It does feel like I've won. He's got a big scary dragon out, but... <laughs> Is that really that bad? Is that really a problem for you? Cassanta says, Lewis is building a deck like it's Hearthstone. I am. I he should not. help myself. That's not how this works. Yeah. Oh. This is the problem with playing against a blue deck. And a blue-red deck in his case. Every time you want to do something, he's like, nah, I'm going to stop that. Nah, I'm going to stop that. Uh, attack A. Power. One into the dragon, one into the face. And then uh, next turn, it's lightning bolt. Oh. Oh, there's something... Oh, goblin decks. They're so... They're so quick. Win or lose, you get to go... Yeah, get your shark hands up. Man, if this game had gone on like two turns longer, 
I would super die. Why? Because... Because look at him. Started, it's all his synergies going. He's girl. got two Mega Dragons. He's got Shark Hands. He deals damage every time he draws a card. And every card he's got seems to make him draw a card. But now you um, can just Lightning Strike. Oh, yeah, but now he's just fucking dead. But, um, you know, he nearly, he nearly he had me. You. Literally. I'd be dead next turn. It was the turning point. Yeah. Oh, shit. Is he countered? He didn't have any light. Oh, he, right. <laughs> he played it back onto you. <laughs> just he just reflected it. Miss, miss it. But it still happens. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is Ben short for something? Yeah, um, but Ben Benilus. It's like Cornelius, <laughs> but Benilius. Benstifer. Benstifer. That's right. <laughs> um, ben Bob Benmus. It's like Bomus Thomas. <laughs> I don't know what ben I'm saying. Sorry, guys. I like it. Uh, let's look at your game. Sorry, the goblins. The goblins are um, undefeated. Maybe they'll retire. So as, he as he played a Loxodon on line breaker and mm -hmm. tried to block my diagraph ghoul with it. Oh yeah. Right. Which I was not having, and I cast Skullduggery. Oh, Skullduggery. And then my Gruul survived. My Gruul survived, and his Locks of the Mindbreaker died, which is bad for him. And cast an Infectious Horror. Mm -hmm. Cast a Sky March Blood Letter, which does one damage to him. I think I'm just going to just. Just going to attack first. Yeah, see how he reacts. See if he wants to block something, which mm, he probably just. should block the Death Baron with this guy. And then I'm going to hit him for six. And then I'm just going to keep playing stuff out, like Infectious Horror. Um, various other gross things. I could have like le le left this guy back, but I feel like it's just better to just. Why is he taking so long to decide? It's it's a tough decision. Then you know. Now he's blocking it oh, with a flyer. His horse took it. His but Pegasus. now he, little does he know, I have a flyer now. He's thinking, oh. Oh, he shouldn't have lost that flyer. Shouldn't have sacked first. What a flyer. scrub! Should have just traded. Oh, I like the way they float on the table. I didn't know they did that when they fly. I think Agents on Mars is a new player. Uh. Just saying. Is this limited? So, no, this is uh, the new Magic the Gathering arena. Uh, I've played this actually a lot. You have, but without the new time, stuff. Without the new stuff. And I grinded so hard on this game to build, like, about... I think I built about five or six decks. Mm. And, um, man, I, I had a good time. But m I got pretty high ranked with um, that the, the common... The Ancient Invention, like the Furbish deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Confront the Assault. Cast this spell on you for creature attacking. Create three 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Oh, okay. That's that's not what you wanted to see. He's going to block into me. Yeah, he's going to double block your, um, your guy. You killed your flying guy. Oh, dear. But yeah. he's only on four health. I mean, but you know like why? White can heal. He might, might heal up a bit. Mm. You know, if you can stop the zombies coming. But this thing, look at it. It's pretty rough. So he's going to lose two life. Oh, just when, when it attacks, attacks anyway. Wow, yeah. that thing's horrible. Well, it's only a 2-2, two -two, though. And for four mana. Yeah, it's not, not great value. Um, what does this guy do? When he dies, create a token, which is always nice. Mm. And obviously, this is the one mana cost card that I've had in the game, like, just smashing his face for the entire yeah, game. Yeah, but a 2-2 two -two in the first turn is, is pretty it's serious tough to business, deal with. isn't it? Oh, look, all this stuff coming out, though. Here you go. So now he's got a, a line of blockers. So oh. this can quite this can block either of those and not die, but it won't kill my thing. I think you just need to keep trying to overwhelm him, don't you? I think I just smash in with full it. attack. Oh, he lost two life, so he's gonna have to block this. He has to block everything. Every time, next time it attacks. He has oh, to he's dead anyway. To oh no, he's not dead. He has to block everything. He has to block everything and, and kill, kill the horror yeah. to survive. So he knows he's so yeah, that. that makes sense. He's got to kill that. Um, he's probably gonna block. Oh, no, he's changed changed his mind. Okay, he's going to block that into there, that into there, that into there. So he's chosen to lose his 3-3 to keep his flyer alive. Yeah, but Just little surprising. does he know. I've got another flying dude that's damage is simple. One more. Oh, the black. The black is coming back. The black wolf. Ooh. Oh, he's got a lifelink. He's going to struggle. He's going to... Oh, he's going to... He's got his fingers on the edge of the, the, the cliff. And you're just trying to like stamp and grind those last fingers off. <laughs> I actually am, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. I might not be able to do that. That's what this is. You've pushed him in the canal, Lewis, but he's holding on. Oh, and I you can just do it. you desperately need to twist those last couple of fingers off. So I can what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna phase it, just in case he's got a trick, which I don't think he has. So I'm gonna do attack, I'm yeah. gonna do everything attack. And you then he's got a trick to sort of snipe one. He's gonna a lot. Oh, no, shit. It's that Saproling. It's the 1-1 one, one Saproling that's going to win you the not game. Gonna... Oh, no, that's in charge. Okay. Oh, is he going to lifelink before you hit him? 
Oh shit. Is the lifelink gonna save him? Fuck this up. So have, you, have you fucked this up? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you'd be better at stamping on people's hands. I can still kill this thing. Okay, you can interrupt the combat, it. right? To kill his lifelink. That's it. Oh, okay, had, so, so you we... made the lifelink get down to zero attack so he didn't heal? Yeah. Oh, you are good at grinding fingers off ledges. <laughs> <laughs> I went down a rack. <laughs> that didn't put me up. I went down. Did anyone else see that? <sighs> see, I was, I was, I was. It knew I'd misplayed at the end. <laughs> yeah, punished you. We'll oh my god. So, so can we play? Um, I haven't unlocked the power of friendship yet. We haven't got friendship. No. What are we gonna do? I think we should just. I like I've completed like three or four quests, but it's still. I'm honestly totally fine to just build decks and. Muck around, honestly. I Should I just send in the goblins again? Yeah, you, if you send in the goblins, I'm gonna build. I'm definitely gonna build something that brings back stuff from the graveyard. I just wanna. I just wanna. I wanna. Muck, I wanna do some graveyard shenanigans. Um, if you have any messages for me or advice on what I should build, <laughs> yeah. please. Oh, if anyone wants to, yeah, uh, recommend donate, or just at yours, cars. Recommend a uh, uh, in chat. Kazar says there is no friendship in this game. <laughs> magic the Gathering. What are you talking about? It's all about friendship. Man, friendship. I've friendship made is magic. Isn't that the uh, is magic. isn't that the, the, the Magic the Gathering? I, I have friends I wouldn't have met if not for playing magic. It's true. I only have one mountain, so I'm gonna have to mulligan. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I have to. Oh mm, yeah. Oh, oh no, too many mountains. Well, you. well, you can keep that and scry though. So you can scry away. A bit. Yeah. Oh goblin. Sweet. I'll keep that. This might this might be a problem for you. Yep. Oh, don't play Teferi, says um, says someone in chat. I hate I hate Teferi. He's the the most annoying. He's a uh, planeswalker. Really, really powerful. Is he one of those ones that doesn't let you play the game? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. He blocks you from playing the game. And you just he does this thing where you you can't play any cards and you just go, ah, why am I even here? Well, he well, he's a planeswalker, but his ability lets you untap um, two of your lands. You see, so you can mm. play him and still keep mana up to counterspell. Right. He's the ultimate counterspell troll. Oh, I hate, I hate oh. that. But that's why some cool stuff is in, like Niv-Mizzet. I saw him earlier. I, I read his card that, beat, oh. that he played against you. This spell can't be countered, right? Yeah. Which is what you want when you're playing against like, those decks. Maybe. Yeah, you need a couple of those. Well, my, um, my big bane fire, if I put five extra mana in, can't be countered. Ah. That's my finisher. Bane fire? Is that your, is that your goblin one? Yeah. What's she done? What I do? she explores. She found. Oh, I see. If, oh. He's, if he's all right, so your big finisher. Oh, that's brutal, isn't it? So I guess if you do get land flooded a bit, you can just. At least you've got something to you do. Can just lob a five I don't damage. Know what to do at about it. this guy? He's got a counter on him. Three two. So this is an explore deck. So explore is a mechanic where um, when 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 you explore, you look at the top card of your library. Mm. Um, I think if it's a land, you draw it, and if it's a not a land, you leave it there, and you get a plus one plus one counter. Oh, I see. So you ramp mana or get bigger creatures. Yeah, which is what green loves to do. So it either gives you a card or buffs itself, which is mm. I think. I think that's Steve how thinks explore is bullshit. It's a cool mechanic, and the, the thing is, it's it's not that powerful because not too many cards have it. Um, it's it's not like an overpowered mechanic. It's it's a cool mechanic. It, no. Steve says it is bullshit. Jeez, we've got be, a fucking planeswalker on the table. But yeah, like if you, if you type in explore, you can see there's only there's not that many. Oh, my goblin chain whirler. Actually, that have explore, um, and it, you mostly have to play green. Mm. Um, or black, if you're going to be explored. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm on the back foot. The goblins are not often on the back foot, I have to admit. But we're going to go uh, war boss. Is this the one that spawns in a goblin with haste? Yeah. Mm. Okay, sweet. So he's going to come in. He's going to make a little 1-1 one, one goblin boy. And that little goblin boy is going to kill that blooming planeswalker. Screw you. Okay. I've typed in graveyard and battlefield. So I'm going to look for cards. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make a horrible explore deck. Yeah, no, well, have you been inspired? I could put some explore in here. Yeah, I could put a bit of explore in. I'm just looking at these cards. I want to use the Mythic Rare Dimir card. Lazav the Multifarious, right? So he becomes a copy of target creature card in your graveyard. Um, so he, he will, he's like a cheap shapeshifter. So if you can, if you can, if you can like surveil a load of good stuff into your uh, grave, okay, yeah. you can like fucking bring it back. 
Um, oh, there's some there's some spooky cards in this in this expansion. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Though. Here sorry. we go. Sorry, I'm it's the sorry. goblins are here. I don't think I'm ever going to play a game today. I'm just going to just going to make I'm decks. Just going to fuck around <laughs> in in this deck collection, reading cards. I think honestly, like that's mostly what I do with my life anyway. Well, that's part. Of, I mean, for every hour I've spent playing Magic: The Gathering, I've probably spent like ten reading cards and building decks. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like Games Workshop. You spend way more time building and painting than you do. Playing the I think I worked it out, yeah. It's like 20% buying, 20% mm -hmm. uh, gluing. <laughs> How do you clicking. spend 20% of your gaming time buying? <laughs> like just walking around the shops <laughs> yeah, for hours like, on it. But you do. You're like, oh, do I want to get this? Do I want to buy that? Do I want to try and get this? You've got to wait for it to be delivered. You've got to carry it home. And you've got to keep going to the shops to pick up new paintbrushes and new fucking <laughs> paints true. all the time. You're it's always true. like, you do have to every time you're like, oh, there's always some something you forgot. Tufts. Or something. It's like twenty percent <laughs> skill, twenty percent luck, twenty percent concentrated power. Thank you, chat. Yes. Um, uh, it's it's. Oh my God! The explore, the explore is real. Give me a spy bug. So I only want to put in like I want to put in new cards. Really, I don't really want to put in like old yeah. ones. Yeah, new cards. New, new is always better. New is new is far way better, right? That's how it works in this game. I have to admit, I haven't really played Magic properly for a while, so they are all new to me. I mean, that's the nice refreshing thing, that it actually moves, Magic moves pretty fast. Um, and before you know it, you're going to be left behind, Ben. Yeah, Don't get true that. Behind you. Shoot um, the man. I think, I think we're going to face the Goblin's first, first loss here. It's, um, it's feeling real bad. Oh, dear. Um... What can let's do, I can sacrifice a goblin and throw them in a catapult to deal two damage to a target. So that it feels like it used to be this play. card, which I can't even find. It must have rotated out. I must have been playing like a deck that was right on the edge of being rotated <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I'm quite annoyed because on my other account, I'd spent ages grinding the um, the stuff to get. But maybe you get maybe you get like it returned to you if you're all of your decks rotate out. I don't know how it works. I'm sure I'm sure there's some mechanic in there for it. Um, you must get like the dust or whatever the magic equivalent of dust is. Yeah. Well, so the way this works actually is you get given these um, wild cards, they're called. So sometimes if you have a card already, it'll give you a wild card. Oh, you can just trade that in for anything. You can just of convert that into whatever you want. Oh, um, cool. So that's quite handy because it means you can still build these decks. It's not the it's not same as sort of dust. That's a bit different. Unmoored Ego. Choose a card name, search targets, opponents, graveyard, hand, and library for up to four cards with that name and exile them. <laughs> so I, can, I can be like, I'm against someone and I know what they're playing. I can be like, you have no longer got um, all of oh, your win conditions. Oh, wow. That's so strong. If you know someone's deck, they've got like a real common net deck list. You can just say, oh, this key card that you need like to... Like a control like deck that needs Teferi. <laughs> yeah. <be> like, Teferi. <laughs> oh. And then his head, his face comes off. <laughs> <laughs> and goes in the graveyard. Oh man, I like that. that it I like that a lot because it searches their hand as well, so you can properly. Oh, Steve's saying, um, "What are you saying, Steve, about mill deck?" Steve's a big Magic player, aren't you? Chuck it in a mill deck. Yeah, what's that gonna do? Why is that good in a mill deck? Is it just gonna, it's just gonna reduce their library? Oh, I see. I see. So, because that's going to, yeah, yeah, that will get rid of at least, you know, at least 16 of their cards if you play that four times, you know. Maybe they played it already, but, you know, you could think you could, think you could get rid of a good amount of their cards with that. Mm. Oh, that's spooky. Spooky. Multi-use. Oh, shit, Ben. What's what? happening? What's, What's happening, happening with Ben? I want to know where your goblins are at. Uh, the goblins are doing okay. Um, can we have a little screen? The screen sanity. Um... There's a little wave of goblins going here. We've got a um, put another planeswalker out. That feels bad. Right. Um, oh, she's like a pirate queen. Okay. I mean, it keeps. Oh yeah, I need to tell it to stop doing that. Uh, what does menace do? Can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Fine. Surveil two, then draw a card. Mm -hmm. right, so um, I'm going all out now. This is the last of my hand. Um, but 
look at all these goblins. Are you ready for the, the fucking goblin pain train? Are you ready for the goblin pain train? <laughs> <laughs> so I've got this guy giving all my goblins haste. Right. And then I just spawned in three more goblins with this guy. So it's like, it's, it's going, we're going big. We're going big on gobbos. I'm going to fling one in the goblin catapult. Fling this goblin at this guy here. That, that one. Right. What am I doing wrong here? Fling goblin at pirate. You have to pick one to fling, I think. That one. Bam. Fling! And then um, all attack. Full attacky. No defend day. Um. Fling is, is that you're actually flinging you? Well, it's there. a goblin gang commander, and there's a big catapult there full of goblins. So I can pay two mana to kill a goblin and deal two damage. Just <laughs> like a goblin doom diver. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking up synergies now because I saw a oh, card you're into that it, said man. something about walls. I've got sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis is lost in the heart of the cards. I am. <laughs> <laughs> if you failed this turn, do I have to... Oh. Goblins, goblins, goblins. That's cool. Goblins are here. Do you think I'd kill him? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got nine damage on the table. Um, so if he can't kill at least two, two damage of these goblins, he's getting goblined. Plus I can do um, six damage? No, five damage with this bane fire. Oh, that's good. I'm going to take that. Five damage. Maybe I should keep the other one, actually. That's just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, um. I'm, I'm really enjoying <laughs> trying to build a deck. And I bet you when I play it, I'll get absolutely wrecked. I'll be like, yeah, this is a really bad idea. But <laughs> right now, when I'm coming up with it, I'm thinking, You're like, excited. I'm a genius. <laughs> Let's combine these two cards. And then I'll be like, oh, no, it doesn't oh. work. It doesn't work. But sometimes when it does work, you just think, oh, man, I'm such a fucking... Such a, such a, such a genius. Such a boss. Mnemonic Betrayal. Exile all cards. Oh, well, he's killing all my goblins! You son of a bitch. Uh, controller may search their library for a basic land and put it into play in the battlefield. Okay, sweet. I'll take a mountain. Um, okay, what's the situation? He's killed both my goblin catapults. Which makes me very sad. Alright, I need Artful Takedown. Okay, we'll get a couple of those. Uh, connive. Sure, we'll get a couple of those. Um, I'm going to have to try out all of these things. Six. Combat, all attack, maximum goblins. Um, so someone in chat was, I missed his name, it's flipped off the screen. He was asking, how is this different from Hearthstone? Uh, well, it's very different. It's it, there's a lot more, the cards are a lot more complicated generally. There's all these things like planeswalkers and... I mean, look at that. That that card does a million things. Yeah, it's 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 comp It's like it's it's quicker in a sense. Like Hearthstone is. is, is oh, I've got him! I fucking got him! The bane fire. How the much damage can you do with it? Five. Yeah. How much card? I've got seven land. Yeah, so five, six. You've got enough. Six, well, how do I select a So click plus next oh. to it. So how much you want to pay? And then click pay. Not that much. No, you can't play six. You can't play seven. Go back. Got seven. You haven't. Oh, you I've got to one pay one. Red. Right, 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 right. So you can only pay... And then what do I do now? Click, click, hit, pay. And then hit face. And then he will then be he like... He will go, I don't have a counter spell. <laughs> and it can't be counter spelled anyway, can it? Oh, no, yeah, because X is five or more, so it can't be countered. So can't good counted, luck the damage can't be with that so yellow hat. There's no way he's going to win. Is oh, he going to BM and just disconnect? <laughs> <laughs> no, he took it like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Jesus, that is that is bad. That was a bad way to go out. So far, undefeated goblins. Psychic Symbiont. When Psychic Symbiont enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card and you draw a card. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to have cause some of those, Look, some of those hostage to take is pretty good. That's a different. classic card as well. <gasps> I've unlocked the power of friendship, Lewis. Uh, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, different play modes. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> which may or may not involve... What's this? Uh, let's... Sealed guilds of... Ram oh, dude. We could play sealed decks. Yeah. So we don't have to build decks. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could do that. That's draft. Fun. We could play draft. Okay. 
well, do, do, hang on. Let me just, let me just, let me just. Okay, you want to finish that deck? I want to just finish this deck and okay. have a go with it, just to see how bad it is, um, because it might be a disaster. I just want to, just, I just want to experiment with it. I need to cut. I need to cut quite a lot of cards as well, and also I need um, some multi. I need some blue, white, blue. I need some proper lands in here because I've only got islands and swamps in. Um, hostage takers. Let's, let's not. Let's not get too many of them. Let's get two of those out as well. I need to cut two more cards. <laughs> I've just put far too many cards. Oh my god, it's just all gold. Okay, that's 60. Um, if I just get some blue-black land, I assume I can run... These are the new guild gates in the expansion, so these just are crap. I want four of these. What's wrong with the guild gates? Well, they don't... They're no good. Well, they give you... These are better. Okay. Um, and then I'll need to cut four of those and four of those. Um, I think this is what I want. Yeah. Ling's telling me to build a rat person deck. A rat person deck. Oh, because they like Skaven. I see. And uh, do you think I can still use my goblin voice for rats? Do you think a little rat man goes, what about his legs? He didn't need his legs. Let's call it Golden Boys. Question mark. Oh, also, I need a, like a, a, a win condition. I don't think I have one. <laughs> What's my win condition? Oh, it's this thing. I mnemonic think betrayal. win through the power of rare cards. Is that your win condition? <laughs> <laughs> I the don't raw know. power of epic mythics. See, this is this is going to go horribly, horribly wrong. I think. Um, uh, uh, it's nice because one of the things um, I didn't do much of when I had this before was I didn't do a lot of sealed um, stuff because I sort of I, I came in quite late into the expansion, mm. um, and so I wasn't really able to like. I felt like I, I missed out on. I hadn't done an, I, d I hadn't done a lot of drafting, mm. so I didn't really know what I was doing. Yeah, that's um, the thing. The first couple of drafts are pretty terrible because you don't know which cards you're looking for, which are the keepers and which are the um, brain TM. Dumpers. All right, well, well okay, well, you've you got, you got, yeah, you got both so colours of land. Let me explain some of this nonsense. Okay. I think you've built a very complicated <laughs> deck here, haven't you? It does a lot of things. It does too many things, in fact, okay. Ben, I would say. Um, and maybe none of them well. I can gain control of creatures of power two or less, if okay. I want. Okay, that's cool. It's obviously cool. helpful against goblins. Mm -hmm. I can do this, which is surveil two and draw a card. So let's do that. Draw is always good. Um, so I need to surveil first. Let's have a look. Oh, I can fail both onto the bottom of my library if I want. I don't really want... Oh, I could, I could keep that. Nah, fuck it. Swamp! You've only got like three land. Maybe you need another one? Nah. No? Bold. Bold and move. Or a blind card. Disinformation campaign. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, an opponent discards a card. Whenever you surveil, it comes back. Oh. I keep getting new cards. Fake news. Around. You're going to be the fake news man. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have played this guy instead. What is he? Oh, there's a 40 ogre there. He's he's a mythic. Oh, hang on! You're just going up against a raw red aggression deck. You need to stop fannying about <laughs> <laughs> and actually fight him. Shut up! Uh, I don't need to fight no one. <laughs> hang on. So I'm going to play uh, Lazav the Multifarious. Okay. Uh -huh. He gets to surveil me a card. Okay. Uh, it still feels like fannying about. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and then I'm going to trigger his ability yeah. to when pay one to convert him into a thoughtbound. Phantasm, uh, so he's now a two-two spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, and he can attack. No, he can't. Oh no, I can use his spell. Okay, I can use his spell to convert him into a zero cost card, of which I don't have one. Okay, so that's fine. So now, if he attacks, I can block it, and that's yeah. all I need to do. Unless or I can just, just get zapped by die. a one mana shock. Ooh. That's going to be four to the face. We're taking four to the face, guys. This guy is a. If I could steal him with this. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Ow. All right. Oh, barrier of bones. See, that's useful. But I'm still just gonna, I'm still just gonna steal, steal yeah. this. Yeah. Steal his pyromancer to burn his ogre with. Yeah. I like it. Okay. So that removes one of his, and it gives me a card, and it trades up nicely. So unless he just lightning bolts it or something. Unless he has another removal, which he might do. He might have the um. The Chain Whirler, Goblin Chain Whirler, which yeah. does one damage to everything on my side, which is pretty scary. You know all about that. He has got Whirler. Spark Tongue Dragon, uh, okay. which he can't pay for. Ah, he can't pay the extra for, so he doesn't zap you. And he he's scared. His ogre's scared, as it should be. Exile all cards from 
opponent's graveyards, you may cast this card this turn, and you may spend mana as if it were mana of any type to cast this spells at the beginning of the next turn. Any other, other. So basically, this is my. I can play this and shock him for two, so I can kill this potentially. But this already trades with this, so I don't really need to do this. No. Uh, I could draw a card with this and then play a crappy wall. I'm yeah. sure I know how to deal with his 3-3, three, three. so let's just surveil. What does surveil do? Oh, that's the... Let's be decide whether I want this like a or not. Uh, oh, what have I got in here? Just to think, this this and this. Okay, so I've got Lazav and this, so these two will come back if I cast Gruesome um, Menagerie, which I can do next turn. So I will keep that there, and I will draw it with this. Okay, I've got wow. a plan. Wow, okay, this is, this is the exact opposite of my goblin deck, isn't it? <laughs> like, <laughs> so he has very the discard to follow. card now. Um, yes, and then I'm not going to attack. Okay, all right. What's he got? He's going to attack me for three. He could take three. Easy peasy, no yeah, problem. Yeah, you can do that like three got more times. another copy of Lazar. Or you're dead. Um, I think I want... I haven't got any three drops in here. So if I get back a wall and a Lazav, is that actually useful? Because Lazav can't turn into anything. Do I want to just play a Psychic sim simulant, Symbiont, probably? Let's play this instead. Okay, it's got flying. It that's trades good. with that's his thing, and yeah. it's a bit scary. And, and I draw a card, and he discards a card. Brilliant. That's a good play. You've, you've blocked his dragon, and, you, and you, he's only got one card left. Anything that like, gets that's rid made of him, cards. That's made him discard two cards now. And Lazav can play out here and make him play this again and discard another card. I'll keep doing that. Mill his hand out. I'm going to. Yeah. Oh, now he can't attack at all. He's pee peeing himself. He's pooping himself. Bad. Right, let's get another Lazav. Uh, he gets to surveil me one. I'll chuck that in the bin. Uh, you are just spreading fake news, and all his hand. goblins and dragons are leaving him. There's more fake news. Uh, I get a swamp, which is worthless. And then I will, I guess, turn this guy. Uh, do I want to turn him into something? I'll turn him into himself. That really doesn't do anything, though. I'm just going to not turn him into anything. We'll just, we'll just, just cancel this if I can. It must be away. Uh, Pay zero. Back. Cool. And I think I think I've activated him now. <laughs> you done it. You have to. You committed. How do I? Um. Fine. Fine. Do you know what? I will turn him, turn into, him into a spirit. Really? Job done. Okay. And this does get. Uh, bigger every time I surveil, you see. Ah, uh, okay. So you can build a big wall. And then once it's big enough, it can attack. Okay, I've got... Okay, this is hard to follow. It's, um, <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Ben. We got this. Okay. There's a Burning Sun's Avatar. That's bad. Uh, there's three damage to target opponent and three damage to one creature. So it's going oh, to so kill your flyer so his dragon can fly over. But Lazav can then become my flyer. Oh, uh, Okay. So, but you will you will be on five health once you get a chance to do that. This is true. Uh, not a problem. Don't worry, Ben. We got this. <laughs> really? <laughs> Don't feel like you got <laughs> shit. Uh, well, he hasn't got any cards in his hand, so he's kind of out, right, of stuff. Yeah, you just need to kill the massive mega monsters he does have, and then you'll be fine. Um, oh, that thing! Fire Seven damage. Finish. Fiery finish on his on his dragon. Can't do that though because it's his graveyard and I need this. It's quite expensive, Ben. It's six yeah, mana. Six mana. Okay. Uh, does that just target creature? Yeah. So it doesn't go to the face. I'm a bit worried about this five health on my life bar. I think I'm gonna have to turn Lazav into, into my your flyer, like your three three flyer, because I don't have a choice unless there's something I'm missing, which I don't think there is. Um, so let's turn him into that. Bam. So I see. So he didn't... Right. So he didn't come in as... That's annoying. Yeah. You didn't get, like, your uh, your battle cry. I didn't. I wonder if I should have done this before. If I'd done this before, maybe he would have got plus one, plus one, and then he'd be a four, four. Oh, that would have been huge. You're roping. I know um, I'm roping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I wish I could I'm help gonna you. I'm going to do this anyway. They don't understand half the cards you're using. Um, and I'm going to chuck that in the graveyard because I want an active card next turn. And this kind of comes back to my hand, so I can play it to draw a card. All right, attack? No. Right, I'm not dead unless you. Unless he just draws like a fiery blast. Unless he draws what? Did you have bale fire? Bale fire, yeah, bane fire. Bane fire. All right. What's he got? 
He's attacking. Uh, he's just going screen. full attack. Okay, well I have to I have to You have to lose all your stuff. Are oh, you not gonna use the wall? Yeah, let's use the wall. Because it's gonna die anyway. Yeah, you may as well keep something with some attack. Okay, that's fine. We're fine. There's some havoc. Right. Havoc devils. Some demons. They have trample. trample. That's that's a thing. That's not what you want. Um, we want to play more fake news. We can get stuff back out of our graveyard with this. We can card cards cast cards out of his. This costs three, which will put us on um, four mana. So, no, Can't really do much. Nothing good there. for four mana, unless you want to shock. We could play a new Lazav. And oh no, we could we could we can we can get a Lazav. Oh no, we need we need another. We can just chump. We can just chump here, with some just random crap. Okay, let's get a new. Let's just get. Well, we might as well just get two of these out. They're just as good. Or one of those. One of those. Okay. And he gets to surveil. We'll keep that. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Although we could chuck it in our Jeez, graveyard and then Lazav that. could be it next time. Oh, turn. yeah. Hmm. And then that gets bigger. Then we play this guy. Uh, oh, well, shit. This, we can't play him because he's got, already got. He's legendary. We can't have two legendaries. We play him this one. To draw cards. We draw a new card. It's another fantastic. We'll play that. Okay. Okay. We've got a giant pile of. We're done. Stuff. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay. So we're 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 good here because he's not got anything that can can get through, right? He's going to well, attack into us. Yeah, which well, is fine. You've got to be careful because that four three has trample. Ah. Okay. Good point. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take one anyway. Yeah, that's obviously. an easy one. I think we do this. We we'll just throw that into there. And then we take one, yeah, which I'm okay with, because I'm a guess. Because lightning, lightning bolt can 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 kill me, but can't kill me quite. No, lightning bolt can't quite kill you. Um, the fiery finish, okay. That's obviously bad, but not the end of the world. It's pretty bad. It's not fantastic, Ben, but <laughs> it's fine. Have you got enough mana to steal fiery finish off him? Maybe. Were you gonna turn into that big black monster in your in your dead pile? What's that thing called? Oh yeah, the uh, bone dragon. The um, big black super monster, the Doom Whisperer. What was it? Doom Whisperer. Doom Whisperer. That thing. Six six. That will trade with his thing. So, yeah. <laughs> or I could fire finish. Can I fire finish him? No, I don't think. I think I need the two. Seven. Fuck it. We'll just turn. You've got seven mana. I think you can fire finish him. Uh, we're gonna turn into the Doom thing, because then. Then we've got a, a big... This is our plan, Ben. Okay, there we go. See? Now we've got a 6-6. Six, six. And what else does it do? Uh, it can pay two life to surveil two, which mm. we don't want to do. All right. Considering that's half your life, <coughs> wouldn't, wouldn't recommend. Now, if he draws another fire finish, he can just kill this and, one sh and kill me. Yeah. Uh, but I'm hoping that's not going to happen. We've well, already had two of them. He hasn't done it. Okay. So he's still got card in his hand, which is bad news, because I can just make him discard that. Oh, brilliant. I love the discarding cards from his hand. Um, unlucky. Oh, it's a mountain anyway. Um, this does two damage to me, which feels bad at this time. Uh, this is a bone dragon. It's... Yeah, get it out. Exile seven other cards from your graveyard and it can come back into the graveyard. I've already got loads of stuff in my graveyard. So yeah, yeah, you got loads. We'll chuck that thing out. And then I think we'll just stay oh, here a turn cool. and not risk. Yeah, because you just keep you keep your six six up to stop his six six. And then you punch you basically got one hand where you're arm wrestling him, and your other hand is punching him in the face. Well, I'm more concerned about him drawing a card which kills one of these. Like yeah, blows them up, problem. and then he just hits me, and so that's why I'm Unless I had Vigilance. Vigilance would be, oh, man. Say, had vigilance, would right. be no, ideal. Um, it's all right. I think you just got to trust in the, the top Now, again, the he's kept a card, which yeah. is always uh, a foolish a foolish option against me because I can just make him discard it. Do you, do you get one of these every turn? I, no, if I surveil, they come back. Ah, me. right. But everything is surveilling. Ah, oh, spit flame. See, this is why I kept them both up. If I'd attacked with one, yeah. he would have just killed. Well, that's what I was saying. You've got to keep the 6-6 six, six free. So he's he's burnt your your dragon. Spit flame is out. Dagnabbit. 
I think I can fiery fuck his um, thing now, though. You've finally got enough mana to burn that dragon down, the I, dinosaur. Or if I already used too much mana, I might have done too much. I could tap his... No, no, that doesn't work. Can you, can you get that dragon back? You're, the guy you just lost, he can come back, can't he? What, my bone dragon? Yeah, he can, actually, for, for a bit. I need to discard seven cards out of this. That's all right. So we can chuck this, this, this. These are all double-sided cards. They don't have Aftermath, which is the, the... I can choose to play them as either of these. Uh. Um, I want to keep that Psionic Symbion. I don't need any of the lands, though. Nah, you got loads of lands. I feel like I don't need that barrier. How many is this? Is this enough? One more, I think. Um, gruesome Menagerie. I'm not really playing that. Sure. Boom! Bone Dragon! Bone Dragon turns. baby. And then... Ah. We pass the turn. Okay. What you got? Suddenly become very strategic. <laughs> this is tight now. You know that you're one hit away from death. A 3 1 with hate. Oh shit, that's it, you're dead. Oh no, you. No, I'm not, because no, I always. You're right. Oh no, this is tapped. Yeah. I'm on Why one health. Yeah, if he goes for it, he is going for it. So you get to trade your sixes. Well, I have to. And you're down all to one health then. Ooh, bad. Okay. A juju. Don't you, worry, Ben. Can you steal one of his cards now and just like lightning bolt that guy? How about I steal that thing? Oh yeah, it does three damage to a target I need creature. nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should have enough. Do it. Let's do that. Get his, get his dinosaur. Let's betray him with his own dinosaur. <laughs> oh fucking hell. All right, uh, I <laughs> guess we want to do this. Yeah, dinosaur power. Burn that fuck. Boom! I could have just shocked it, actually. Yeah, but now you've got a 6-6 six, six on the board. Which I still can. I can shock him in the face with his own shock. I'll do like that. And then all attack. Yeah. Oh, my God. I cannot believe you might claw this back. Well, if he... Yay! Yay! He did draw, he draw, he draw, draw one damage. He drew up a mountain. <laughs> My God, I would have, I would have put fifty quid on you losing that game at the start. How the fuck did he do this? I have no idea how you came back. From that. I was confident the whole way, Ben. I was confident the whole way. <laughs> That's impressive. Okay, so the fannying about paid off. Yeah, the fucking fake news brigade just just did a load of shenanigans. Oh and, um, man, see, this is what magic's all about, right, guys? This is, yeah. all, this is what it's all it's about. It's about the black. The black blue edging mm. um, party. It's all about graveyards <laughs> and fucking around <laughs> and just just endlessly shuffling different piles of cards <laughs> until your opponent surrenders. That's correct. Golden Boys did it. <laughs> the Golden Boys I told you that was my it. finisher. The fucking mnemonic, what's his face? Because I right. only put one of them in the deck. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I thought it would always be useful for like getting back a fucking planeswalker or some shit. Yeah, that but you never, you never put only one of a card in a 60 card deck. Well, you do if you don't really want it. Well, then why is it in there at all? Well, because it's like my win condition. It's like <laughs> well, my emergency. You don't really want it if it's your win condition. Yeah, but it's, you're, it's like a desperate win condition. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> like a desperation condition. Oh. Oh, all right. So you're you're up, Ben. What have you? What have you? Oh, got? should I try? One, well, should I do one of these sealed decks or draft decks or something? We, we could we could try and do a sealed together. Should we do yeah. it together? No, we should could, we share we could try and do it together because we've done a lot of drafting and stuff, and we we know vaguely what we're doing. Yeah. So, um, do you want to do you want to share? Is it Steve sharing? Yeah. If you could do make you Lewis's... mine or or, or well, because I've got access and you. Oh, well, okay. We'll do it on yours. We'll do it on yours. Um, um. So, would you want draft or sealed? I would like. What's the difference again? I think, um, I think I sealed gives you. I think sealed gives you the decks. And you just sealed have to like out less of less you've options. Got. I think. Yeah. And more gold. Okay. Yeah, we get some packs and we make a deck out of those packs. Okay, that seems more 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 reasonable. And then we'll, what we do is, we'll, well, so this is like what we do when we go to events. They give you your six packs. Oh, shit. Draft is, draft is saying, uh, chat is saying they want draft. All right. Okay. That's all right. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll do draft. Well, I, I don't know. We've literally just clicked. Yeah, but I can, I can quit. <laughs> oh, I, right. I can go back. I can go back. You can retire. I, well, I will do what chat wants. So uh, always draft, says chat. Okay. That's fine. the way to do it. Okay. I, don't, I think you're just going to have to discard change. It's fine. It's only imaginary space bucks. It's imaginary fake money. Yeah. Draft. Boom. Um, you need to earn more gold. Okay. Play. So just, we've got gold and we've diamonds. Gold. We'll, we've got play, we'll play. Right. So basically what this is, is mm -hmm. this is a pack that's been opened. There'll be one rare. Mm -hmm. There'll be three com uncommons and there'll be random shit. Okay. okay. Now, obviously, 
you, uh, your eyes automatically dart for for the rare, the rare card. What's the rare? It's a black Midnight Reaper. Whenever it's the only token black card you control dies, he deals one damage to you, and you draw a card. That sounds pretty fucking good to me. Um, obviously, you can always pick something like the um, the if you if you're if you're. I, mean, I think like honestly, I don't know what cards are good. I don't even know what Invert Invent does. But if chat mm. is like super knowledgeable, how many of these can we pick? He's um, he's he's. What do you mean one? Oh, only one. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that black one. And then you pass it on, mm. um, and then someone else. You'll get a completely different deck. You see. Oh, uh, on this guy. So these. So he's a dragon man. Yeah, I feel like anything that's a common, we don't really want to pick. And also, okay. if we pick that one, which is red white, that's very much informing our color choice. What about this? It's an artifact that only costs one. And then it's just like a, it's like a secret shot in our pocket. <laughs> it's like we've always got that ready to go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we, this could take this could take ages um, if we're not careful. And so I, I feel like, but but we don't know what we're doing. You you literally went and picked the artifact. Okay. Yeah, because now we're not committed to a color. Well, we can well, wait for a better card to come up. Great choice, Ben. Uh, so, so, so these are the, the two that I was where? using just there. Um, but these only work yeah. if you have your whole deck built around this. Right? Yeah, so that needs a lot of surveils in it, really. And okay. the other one is always it is a surveil, okay. um, which you can use to get rid of one of their cards, which might actually be useful in this format. However, if we pick that, it's going to pretty much lock us into, um, into those colors. black, blue. But we can't just keep picking artifacts. We have to pick a color. <laughs> yeah, um, obviously, um, like anything that is... Good strong removal is powerful in these in this format. Anything That's that true. lets you just kill something, but I can't see any of that. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a, a non land card from it. So that's a worse version of Thought Erasure, effectively. Yeah. Um, and it's very expensive. It's very three mana for ditching a card. Normally, out you of only that. need like one mana to pay. I like that, for that it effect. Never happened. Oh, I see. It's like a it's like a Jedi mind trick. Okay. All right. Um, so these all seem pretty shit. Yeah, I, 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 you can pick a few that are. Oh, jumping frog! <laughs> you could. Oh my god! You could, <laughs> <laughs> he jumps when you cast a spell. These are pretty shit. It looks like. <laughs> yeah. I think you want to just pick um, probably. That oh, what, what, what do you What do you like? What colors do you like? I like black, and red, and green, okay. and I and white if I get a load of tokens. But we can't count on that. Right. Um, well, I don't think you really want to pick anything without any card text for a start. What well, about this guy? I mean, he looks fucking nuts, doesn't he? He looks great. I mean, sure, fucking pick that guy. True fire, he's bad. We're in. Let's let's pick fucking. Bob. Oh, and now we can have fucking Dragon Man. Hang on, we probably want to pick. Um, I mean, uncommons are just slightly better in general, but well, they're not that one. That doesn't actually look very good at Everyone all. Everyone gets plus one, plus one. That's pretty good, although it's, mm, it's a bit expensive. Sure, fucking pick the old garrison the fucking unicorn. if you want, but we will need to try and find a guild gate. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so we won't, aren't really going to be able to get many guild gates. Um, That's a gate. Oh, but it's the wrong colour. Oh, yeah, yeah no, he, we shouldn't pick him because we'll never get a gate. Yeah, and he's just incredibly... Incredibly dependent on that gate. And he's, he's bad. Okay, um, what about the little hawk then? Uh, one, he'll want to turn. He'll want to turn. Just nipping away at them. It might actually not be the worst thing in the world. We're doing um, it. We've got a hawk. Bam. We're, we're turning into Assassin's Creed here. Yeah. We've what got does this knife, do? Yeah. What does this dart do? Sacrifice it if it deals three damage to a creature. Fine. That's actually actually fine, actually, isn't All it? Right. You said removal was good. Uh, we, could, we could probably take heart here, I think. If we're going white, red, I think... I think a little little trick is always oh, creature gets plus two plus two. Always helpful. That will keep a creature alive. It's yep. a trick. It doesn't sure. hurt. There was a card that said jump start there. What's that one? Maximize velocity. What does he do? Where that one? What's a jump start? You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card, in addition to paying its other cost and exile this card. Ah, oh, right. So it's like it's like a trick. So what you you cast you you cast it once normally, and then you can cast it again out of your graveyard. By discarding a card. Damn. That seems pretty good. Uh, alternatively, we could play Flower um, on the left with White. Uh, the Flower and Flourish on the left, that one. Um, even though we can't use Flourish, we, can s we can't use the, the second part of it. We can still use so the it first just, part. It finds us a land. I mean... It's not ideal, is it? Why wouldn't we not just have a land instead? It's true. Um, what about this right. guy? He's two, two, one, one. Great, pick him. One. 
It'll do. We're going to be aggro. Boros aggro. Sure. Um, um, what's this guy? Fucking Derpasaurus. Um, well, I think we want to take the dragon almost certainly. It's a, a, an uncomp. Yeah, take the whelp dragon. Yeah, dragon just, just grab that. Yeah, just a flying dragon. They're always good, aren't they? Um, uh, book to look at him. <laughs> He's great. I'm, Whenever I'm, I'm, book devourer deals combat damage to a player, you may discard all the cards in your hand if you do draw many cards. Fucking fantastic. We'll take. We'll take him. Okay. Screw it. Nom nom nom. We'll take a fucking bookie. Oh, no, we can't have him. Uh, we can have this. The wand of vertebrae. Uh, put Garbage. The into your next. Why would you want that? Uh, what's What's next? We don't bury phones. Cosmotronic wave. Well, that's it. That's the only one we can have. Um, we can take the shield, mate. It's a 2-2. Uh, two, two. Two, two vigilance. For, for two. That's yeah, not very good. All right, take take the wave. Um, um, uh, we can play invert, um, which is in the top left. Switch um, power and toughness of up to two creatures till next turn. That, what oh, what are our confusing. creatures that we actually have? Do we have any like three ones or anything? No, we haven't got any big stuff yet. We, we've well, we've got the dragon and the book eater, but everything else is pretty small. What does the cosmotronic wave do again? Um... One damage to each creature. Uh, so it does make them not block as well. Can't block. That's quite relevant. Should we just grab a 3-2? Um, what's the one next to it? Sure strike? First strike and plus three attack. It's pretty that's strong. A very, very strong. But the, the hawk's pretty good too. What are people saying? People saying, get another hawk. All right, well, hawk. It. We're doing it. Um, uh, we could have this one. Nah, yeah. This one defense. That's all right. It's all right. I suppose it's a surprise, isn't it? It's got a little mechanic on it that it's not just a shit... Complete shit, 2-2. Two, two. Um, why have we only got this? Oh, because it's draft. So I think we're going to have to pick the one we can actually play. The one that we can actually play, sure. The Even though it's garbage. It's probably, super it probably won't go in our there. deck. But and uh, now we're just going to have to pick that. Just have to pick the ones we have to pick, don't we? And another one. Uh, and Oh, well, this really speeds up, doesn't it? And a useless card. Okay. Uh, now this is pack two. And unfortunately, we got as our rare a land, um, which is really bad for, for, for drafting. What we want is something that's that's white or red, yeah, and rare. But but that's not great. Um, it is obviously yeah. It's it's a double land, so oh, and generates two mana. I mean, just counts no, 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 colors. no. It just counts as both the forest oh, and a plane. Fuck that. I mean, obviously we are in white, but I think, I think, I think maybe it's inescapable blaze is better. It's an uncounterable six damage um, explosion. Oh, look at this guy. He can tap to make mana. Oh, kind of creature. Yeah, he can he can come out cheaper if we have all of our one ones out. But so far we've got more spells than one ones. Um, is there anything? Is there anything really here that? Then, that uh, the lockets the wrong colours. Uh, it's very expensive. Three well, for one. then again, you can get it to draw, and there's not much that draws you cards in this format, which you know you. I know, but you're spending seven mana overall to draw two cards. I still think we just get the fucking nuts. Get the. Get, maybe we need maybe we need like a, a big one. another one of those. Well, another we've already got one. And right. thing is, we got that late last time. Oh, you didn't pick it, did you? My God, I fine. did. Because we've got to finish this deck at some point today. All right, pick the guild mage then. Um, oh look, this is our thing, Boros. Yeah, but there's a Boros fucking guild mage. Where? In the rares, like oh, the, the actual cards. Nice. That we want to pick. Okay, we'll do that. Ugh, oh, Boros boys. Risk another factor. We don't want another book devourer, do we? Even though he's okay. Amazing. So top left is gold. We want to pick rare cards. Right. Rare cards are interesting. We'll just pick a rare card then, and we should probably pick them when they come up if they're in our colours. One more token, boys. Uh, sure. Uh, there is a Boros locket there though, so you probably want to pick that. Um, we're going theme. Oh, look at this guy. A swathe cutter giant or swath cutter. Attacks deals one damage to each creature the defending player controls. That's pretty solid. Perfect. Um, we'll have him. He is very pricey. Expensive. We've got a lot of pricey stuff already. We have, but we don't have to put those pack beasts in and the book devourer in. Um, this guy's actually pretty good as well. So oh, he's got first strike. first strike. That's really good on, on defense. Let's get him. He's really good. Sure. Oh, no, he doesn't work on defense, does he? Because um, it's only when it's your turn. Yeah, on def. Oh, on attack. Oh, I see. You're right. When you cast an instant on sorcery for the target creature and the opponent controls can't block this turn. Sure. Okay. Well, it's one of the only ones we can play from here. So, um, is oh, the, this guy. There's a gold guy. Flying haste. Yep, like him. If it's in, if it's in Boros, we should probably grab it. This guy. Another. Well, hang on. Well, we've oh, got oh, one another of them, one of them. But I think they are probably pretty fucking good. 
So I think we should probably get uh, Righteous Blows next to it. Deals, Deals two, two damage. It is good. Um, get the get the get the four drop. Fuck it. Get the get all the captain. We need some. We need. I think just some muscle. I, I think they look good. I want some higher value cards. I'm not really being very good aggro here, am I? No, we've we've changed. We've gone a bit. We're not heavier. really aggro anymore. Um, we just get an attacky guy plus two plus two. Yeah. 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 Uh, what is this? Oh, creature can't attack or block. Just we should get up. the other fresh face recruit or um, yeah. or a locket. Wow, there's a lot of cards for us in this in these these packs. Yeah. Oh, look, it's one of our guild gates. Or you could have a goblin. <gasps> Goblins. We totally totally need that. I think. You can kill him to give someone hate. Oh, it's you have to kill him to get haste. Yeah. Right? That's actually not as good. I thought he was just tapped to give haste. Hmm. What do you? What is? What is? What is? So Steve is telling us that something is using fresh face recruit. Where is he? One of the creatures. You oh yeah, the, the the crazy like um, dragon Garrison man. sergeant. Dinosaur yeah. man. He does. We should probably get one. Oh, we'll probably get while we've got one. It's the only one we've had come up. Um, and then a witness. Another witness. More more tokens. Token king. Man, it's all all red and white, isn't Ooh, it? Ooh, it's, it's good but expensive. Um, oh, well, this one. Uh, creature you control deals damage equal to power target player. Rubbish. All right, take the vi take the first one. And the halberdier. Fine. Sure. And the one. Pack three. Oh, okay. see, this is what I'm talking about. We a Boros one, rare. We? Yeah. Choose one or both. Three damage creature to everyone. control gain life oh, and three damage that's to each amazing. creature. That's Holy so shit. Better, aren't they? Um, that is pretty good. Exile Artifact, Exile mm. Kill an enchantment for four. It's very pricey. Probably not in this format, but you can see that having its role elsewhere. Yeah, it would have a place somewhere else. I don't want any of these. There's a Barging Sergeant. He looks okay. He's got Haste Mentor, so he can come out, charge in, give plus mm. one, plus one to That's true. something right. else. We'll have him. Might be useful in our, in our plan. Target so so creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Oh, you just get someone to kill themselves. Yeah, so it'll just kill a 4-2, for example. Yeah, straight or 6-6. Six, six. Like, that's just solid removal. Uh, what kill a 6-6 six, six will it? will do half. Oh, half, right. Yeah. But yeah, you, you get it. I got it. Um, direct current looks pretty good, actually. Uh, two damage to any target with cast jumpstart. Cast from the graveyard. So you can cast that again. Mm. It's a bit expensive. It's expensive. But, but two damage is actually quite relevant quite Sometimes often. Sometimes that's all you need, isn't it? Yeah. And if you're yanking it out of your graveyard... To play it again, um, there is another guild gate, or possibly a oh, another hawk, or a righteous more blow. Hawks. Uh, right. Where's righteous blow? Oh. Um, I mean, that is probably way more legit than when we just do damage for one. Well, yeah. yeah, we don't have to pick all of these, and we will get rid of a lot of them anyway. Um, hmm. Hammer dropper, <laughs> giant soldier. Check him out. Wow, he's big. <laughs> he's got mentor. Look at his hair. <laughs> Fucking fake as fuck hair. Man, I want to um, get him though. I want to get these big boys. I don't know. Don't don't pick him. Probably. What about the gate? We probably the want another help whelp instead. I mean, they are legit whelps. We want the whelps. They're flying. They they do good damage. They'll they'll tick away. It will keep doing target. You know, one damage to target creature. You know, that's it's they're surprisingly like. You know, maybe just get the gate. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, we could have the locket. Um, yep. Looks five damage for five. Mm, it's a lot, isn't it? It's expensive. I mean, removal's very good in this format, but um, I mean that's actually Ooh. pretty pretty decent. Like removal. We should get the locket though, I think, or maybe get get the locket. Um, no one else is going to get the locket. We'll get another shot on the locket. Um, put a plus one plus one. And each up to two target there. Sure. Uh, it's all right, isn't it? Well, it's, yeah, it's not actually great, is it? It's cheap. It is cheap. Fuck it. And, um... Oh, another Boris Guildgate. Sure. Um... It means our guard is not as bad as he was before. Yeah, he's got a lot better now. So it's this, I guess, isn't it? No, we picked the punch. Oh, fuck it, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're not putting either of them in our deck, I don't think. At this point, it doesn't really matter. We've kind of built our deck, so yeah. we can pretty much just pick anything. Um, Maybe. And then... Oh. 
Yeah, there was a gate there. But I know, but we've already got a few gates. We only had one of him. So I thought, why not? Go with the uh, torch. Put, put a sure. Keep your shit boy in. Right, never know when he'll be useful. Okay, after drafting, any cards that exceed your full-time collection limit increase your vault approach. Well, this is basically just saying that you've already got all the cards. So when you draft, right. you, you add these cards to your collection. Ah, that's cool. Um, so we need to ditch 19 of these. So let's quickly just get rid of the ones we definitely can't have. Uh, that's putting them in the deck, I think. Oh, whoops. You uh, sure? Oh, no, you're right. You're right. It's taking them out. Okay, okay you're right. It is. Um, uh, wasn't there more greens than that? Apparently not. I don't think so. So I think we want to get rid of a lot of the crap here. Yes, yeah, so let's look at the expensive stuff because uh, we've got three gates. That's kind of cool. Is this all the land we want? Yeah, they will auto fill oh. the land. Um, you're only um, building a 40 card deck. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, four and ups. Yeah, okay. We want like. Oh, no, hang on. We've got way too many. Let's get rid of all the intrusive pack beasts. I mean, he comes in. It's not actually that bad. Um, what's the barging sergeant? He's Haste and mentor. What's the? It's pretty bad. Get rid of that. Right, get rid of him. What's the book devourer do? Sorry. Um, he looks fantastic, and he's my best friend. He deals co any combat damage to a player. You can discard all the cards in your hand and draw new ones. No, it's not. Great. He's got trample. So if they chump block him, he still get you still get to reset your hand. That's true. I suppose we could if we end up like loads of mountains, we could probably do that. Okay. Um. One. We only got one. Well, but that's. Fine. Get rid of like. One of those guys. Sure, we'll keep These one. guys are way better. You want to keep those guys. All right, fine. So that's... Uh, one, two, three, four... Two five, fours, six, two seven. fives. No, two fours, four fives. So we've got two fours. Oh, no, we've got gravity punch as well, though. All right, get rid of that one. Um, so we've still got six, six expenses. We've got one six, one five, two five, three fives. Hmm. Well, that'll be all right. Um, so then, uh, for fours, how many have we got of these? One, two, three, four, five. Five four costs. Do we only have... We only had, we only had one locket in the end. Let's get rid of the wave, because that's garbage. Um, we could probably get rid of candlelit vigil. It's, it's not... doesn't seem fantastic. Um, He's cool. All the gold stuff's coming. Color the copper is um, get rid of big creature. Get rid of tough boys. It's not. Right, get rid. It's not. It'll be useful, like a point maybe one of, but maybe we still need to get rid of another nine cards. So, got a lot to get rid of here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Get rid of her. She's a bit boring. Do anything. Um, this is expensive. Get rid of it. I don't think it's that good. Uh, he's okay. Because we should keep him. He's pretty good. All the gold stuff. Just this right. It's fine. They're pretty good. Uh, what's the maniacal rage? Probably not. It's plus two, plus two for two. Oh, I like, like it. We get it on like one of our flyers. Oh, it's just. I suppose you can potentially use it to stop him blocking. Um, all right, fine. Yeah, we, if we put it on our little bird, we should it probably right. get rid of the pocket dart. Right, it's kind of shit. It's 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 a bit it's way too expensive. Um, torch carrier, probably get rid of. You never, you never know. Okay. Uh, we don't need that many of those. We need one, I think. Well, he's that's better than the torch carrier. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Because we can play. It, it does the same thing, card. but it's just better. Because it gets plus one, plus one too. Jump struck comes back out of your graveyard if you want to play it again. So look, you may play this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying the other costs. So, yeah, yeah. you can get, yeah, put it down to two of maybe. Um, what does take heart do? Uh, plus two, plus two, gain one life. That's that's pretty good. Um, uh, that's pretty good. We've got two of those. That's fine. Two of those. Four, that's fine. And one of these. Two which plus we think is okay. Plus so, okay. So we still need to ditch four cards. Um, I mean, maybe we do, do need to get rid of Book Devourer. We can get rid of... Wh which one do we want to get rid of out of the sergeants? I mean, that guy, I don't think he's very good anyway. We do have three gates now, though. So, all right. Um, truck one. What's the Cosmotronic Wave? Do we actually even need that? Deals one to everyone, and then they can't block. It's a nice finisher. Mm. Yeah. All right. 
Um, Should we get rid of some of this land? We can't because, really. But we've got the, the special lands. That doesn't really give us more mana, though. You know, like 14, 56, 17 out of 40. It's like nearly half our cards. It's about right. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, well, let's, what, what, what people say we need to get rid of. Uh, let's have a vote. We got three cards to get rid of. What do people think we need to get rid of? Yeah, what do people think in chat? I think, sc scroll up. I think, what's the Smelt Ward Minotaur? What does he do uh, in the middle? Uh, when you cast instant or sorcery, opponents cannot block him. Yeah, he's all right. What's risk factor? Um, it's great. Target opponent may have risk factor. Deal four damage to him. If he doesn't, you draw three cards. Wow, so what, they just take four damage. That's pretty good. Um, could definitely drop... Uh, Oh, because we've got the locket, we can drop a land. Oh, yeah, the locket counts as a land, doesn't it? Right. So and We're relatively low cost. We've got a lot of cheap stuff. People are saying drop the book eater, maybe. Because um, it's a bit high and it's probably crap. And it, yeah, I mean, I think, I think it should go. The book eater. Because we're not going to have anything in our hand by that time. That's true. We're a bit, so we're a bit all Chuck in. A planes. Um, and then if we... Now, we're, I'm okay with keeping, having a locket instead of a planes. Okay. Um, uh, even though it costs three to put down. It really takes you time. And then maybe that, maybe one dr a one drop can go, just just one of the ones at the top, something. Because we have quite a lot of those. Right, we're done. No, 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 no. We want that. Do we? You need oh, to fine. More gold All right. To play in All right. Fine. Play! Good luck, Ben. Okay, this is intense. It's a serious business, guys. We can play together. Should we get your mouse plugged into this machine? Uh, no, 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 you can play. Sorry. Oh, what? Because I'm more capable. I'm quicker. Well, just so we can both play. All right. I'll be... I'll be, be fun. It'll be like, like XCOM style. I'll be fast. And I'll make bad decisions. Perfect. But I can also stop you. I can just grab the mouse. I think you're likely to do more misclicks. Yes. And I'm likely to do more bad plays that <laughs> I shouldn't be doing. Well, you know what more of the cards do than I do. Yeah. I don't know what a lot of the enemy's cards are going to do. Uh... Withering Salem says Ben, Tom, or Lewis. What's going on? Oh, I think oh, you, I think you tuned in for the wrong on stream, dude. Today it's, it's this. Uh, Be gone, resub. He says, Hey, Lewis and Ben, love you guys. Super hyped to see some Magic the Gathering Arena. I've been in closed beta and it's super fun to draft. I mean, yeah, that's that's usually what I save my gold for. Yeah, draft runs. Well, because rather than the classic thing with Magic is, mm -hmm. um, rather than buying packs, you can protect. You can you can instead buy Good those packs. packs and potentially win more with them, mm. you see what I mean? And it's quite fun. And it always feels a bit more balanced. Like, going into this means, if someone else has got a better deck than us, that's the way it goes, they open some packs. Do you know what I mean? No, but also, there's always the luck of magic always luck based on draw. You know, but, I, but I hate yeah. going into those games where the opponent just has way bigger library than I do. Yeah, uh, well, hang on, we'll see if we can get into, um, into a game, um, and we'll give it another, like, Give it another minute, and if we don't, then, then we'll have a, have a little quick break. Uh, I'll go through these messages though. Uh, Dawn Trotters has just got a new job. Finally decided oh. to buy a yog swag. Um, nice. Look forward to my sweatshirt and diggy hole mug. Oh, that diggy hole mug is really nice. We always sell out of that at events. It is. It is the better one. Uh, Yoda's brother subbed up. Who is Yoda's brother in the canon? Um, Yodel. That's right. <laughs> uh, Champion M subbed up. Thank you. I just got a random sub. Oh. Oh, Lucky so. you, dude. Uh, Quish One, Eisen Mike, and Astro Blaze is loving the magic content. We did that. We did a bit of magic content on Games Night. We're going to do some more, hopefully, mm. um, if they like what we're doing, and uh, we're going to do our best to hope they do. We're going to. We, we, me and Ben have been working hard on filming a new episode of um, of Games Night. Well, Battle Boys sort of is is is. is we want to film Battle Boys better. And yeah. It's probably going to be sort of smaller, more serious gaming because me and Ben play a lot of games together. Um, and we want to we want to film it better, do it better. So the first one is I think is going out tonight, maybe, of the new the new the new way of Battle Boys. Yeah, although there's still some old style ones to go out as well. Yeah, we recorded a couple of old style ones last last week as well. Um, but let us know what you think of the new the new look. So what is it? What is there still to come? Titans is to come. Um, yep. Wait, was it you and Duncan playing with some Titans? Yeah. Well, we did knights a knight battle. Ah, knights. Yes, and then. Um, where else is to come? Uh, I can't remember. There's another one. <gasps> We're in. There is another one. 
Anyway, you should check out Games Night. We're tonight. playing Draftaholics Anonymous. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. That actually sounds really bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Okay, dear. well, what have we have we got? Yeah, we, we have haven't got any, got any any decent creatures early creatures. Play. And this will be at least starting with a guilt yeah. gate is good as well. Uh, we probably don't. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, guilt gate first. Easy peasy. It does reveal what we're doing <laughs> a little bit, but that's just. What I don't get. think knowledge is very powerful in this this format. Oh, look at this. We're already out there with our fresh faced boy, our little Templar knight. Look at him go. Mm. Hard to defend against. Yeah. He's going red blue, is he? Interesting. Okay. Two two to the face. This guy's coming out next time. Ooh, if oh we've got the land? We have, yes. Yeah, so what does this guy do? Mentor, um, whenever he's dealt damage, he deals that much to target yeah, the player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a guilt mage. What does his one do? Target feature doesn't untap during this controller's next untap step. Shit. That's a bit spooky, but it's not that bad. You have to get someone to. Don't, don't play him yet, don't play him yet. Why? Because of secrets. Oh. Attack first. I see. Keep him guessing. He's not got any mana up, Ben, so I mean. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. Fine. <laughs> but it's just a good habit to be in. Two fire captain, he's leading the charge. Oh, look at him. He's recruited this fresh faced boy. Yeah. She's like rodding up to him and been like, good work, chap. Checking that space on a real person. He's probably one of the magic artists. I bet or you. Maybe a tournament winner or something. He looks like a slightly chubby faced boy. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> a guy in the Magic the Gathering offices. He doesn't look fresh faced. I mean, he basically looks like he's like a 30 year old man. No, he doesn't. He's been given like a tight shave. Maybe. He's got a slightly chubby face to him. There's a lovely hawk. He's dropping off some. Um, some holy water or batteries <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly! The double A's have run out of the remote! <laughs> yeah. Send the hawk! Go -go! And then, um, oh wow, look at this. He's having to think now. Oh, like, what am I gonna do? he's roping already. See, he can pay three to surveil two with his wizard, uh, but that does involve tapping the wizard. Oh. And he, I think he might want it to block. Well, he won't want to block because Fresh Face cuts him up it's true. with his first strike. There's it's no right. point in him blocking. Right. Do, we, do we make, when we mentor, that's assuming we're going to make it to this point, but if we mentor the True Fire Captain, yeah. Which I'm going to do now. Oh, my God. If only I had another land. You put it on the fresh face to recruit. But then I could have hasted this d and done a double mentor. Oh. Why can't you double mentor? Oh, I see what you mean, because oh. we're one mana short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do, who do I want to mentor? The hawk? Um, the fresh face recruit. That first strike just gets stronger the bigger he gets. That's true. He does get more beastly. But, you know, you never know. But this lifelinks. Mm. Oh, that's Unblockable. true. It's up to you, man. They're both good. All right. I'll put it on him. What's gonna do? He's gonna block this. Oh, jumping frog into mentor. I have a righteous blur for it. So, bam. Blam. Suck it. All right. That means I can't play my true fight captain. Yeah, so, which but we would have lost. Massively slow me down. I think that's better though, because we would have lost one and then dropped a new one, and we'd be in the well, same position. Yeah. If we draw I've got land, another trick to do on this guy next turn as well. Well, if you draw another land, we can cast both. That's true. That is true. It's happening. I, sh I think Mentor is probably better on the flyer, but think... but we'll, we'll see, won't we? We'll see. We'll see what he drops. Yeah, we could do it this time. We can, Yeah, we can, we can flip it. Yeah. Okay. That's the guild uh, game. Oh, do we? Enter's tap. Well, yeah, but we don't have another alternative. Um, I think we want to just go again. Yeah, all, all on face. Now he's he looks like he might have tricks here. Oh, return to hug creature to its owner's hand. Ah, oh, unexplained disappearance. He's gone. That's a shame. Don't worry, we can still we can still play it back out again because we've got enough mana. So, I guess we should go attack anyway. Existing has first strike. Yep. Um, so he can't really block unless he wants to lose it. He is going to trigger one of our things to stop on telling. Oh, it's going to be this thing. Right, he's going to keep the fresh face boy off the table. Oh! Counter target spell. Oh, look at that. Disdainful stroke. He's so just like, no! So rather than at the end of his turn um, stopping tapped. this tap, he can still activate this this turn. Mm. 
Or he can wait till our turn and then activate it. Mm. Well, well, we'll see what he does. Mm. We might be able to just hammer through with the charging knight and this maximum velocity. We draw. Oh, we did it. We've got it. Do it. Do it. Maximize the velocity on this true fire captain. Is he going to counter? You got another counter? Oh, it might be easy to counter stuff. Shit, if we get countered, we're, we're dead in the water, aren't we? Because we just run out of cards. Well, no, we can just keep attacking. Um, you know, until he decides to block this. This thing can keep swinging in. Yeah, until he gets a bigger creature out. And it's quite a threat, really. I still, I still feel like we're just going to buff this guy to get haste. So are you going to read the amount of time he took there to be that he has got counter spells? He's got something. Because he was thinking, okay, fine, this comes down. It's not going to be a threat now. Yeah. Right? He's thinking it's going to be a threat next turn. So he's thinking I'm not necessarily going to need to counter it immediately. But now he's yeah. thinking, okay, this thing means it is, it is now, now a, threat. a threat. But if only he wished he'd countered it before. Artful takedown. What's that? Tap Tug. Oh, shit. Or which gets minus two, minus four. So he just murdered He just killed the guy you. before we could even cast a spell. And now he knows what's in our hand. Uh, Trixie. Has he kept this thing tapped? I think he has. Yeah, he did. It's all right, we'll chip away at him. Chip, chip, chip in. Okay. So this thing didn't go off. No, because there was no target for it. Because he killed the target. But it should have still gone off. Oh, no, it did go off in the bin. How did I get a new one? Oh, is it just saying there's a jump start thing in your bin? Oh, I see. it's got that icon. Okay, so that actually... So it's not really in your hand. I've got an empty hand, okay. Right. Ugh. Well, that was Ooh, bad. That's really bad, losing both of them. I think he's he's now... Basically, he can permanently lock this thing down. Yeah. So we're just going to have to chip away at him. He's got six turns before the Hawk kills him. Oh, man, we... Chat was right. We should have buffed the Hawk. Oh, don't worry. we got to lock it. Cool. So we can sacrifice this next time to draw two cards. Yeah. Candy, unless he wants to stop him. I guess he doesn't have anything. I could have played maximum velocity, maximum velocity with... By, you would have had to discard that, that card. But I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather pay the four to draw two cards. Um, I'm probably any more lands I draw are going to be cards lands that I chuck into maximum. Yeah. See now he can he can t convert. He's, he's got similar mm. jumpstart card. He's just going to be cycling now, cycling he's got cards. Got a lot of hard. cards. Oh, we had him on the brink. We had him on the edge, Ben. He's right on the edge. If we just mentored the what bird. What have we got that finishes him off? That's the question. Uh, we've got a whole lot of big stuff, but just just whether he counters it or not. Is he going to run out of counters? No, no, no. Not if he's not if he's drawing. Yeah, he can draw. He's drawing two cards a turn. He can just ch basically just discard cards to play this every yeah. turn. He doesn't want. He can chuck an island into the bin to just draw two cards a turn. This is really spooky. This That's card. very spooky. We don't have anything that gets rid of graveyard stuff, do we? We just need more of our like token spam out, really. Yeah, let's sacrifice the locket. What was inside? What was inside? A haste, a flying haste legionnaire, and this thing that stops him blocking. So this is actually not terrible if we, we can't can play it. it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. We can hit him for one. Yeah. Keep tri keep trickling this damage in. Okay, so next turn we play this, the the Sky Knight Legionnaire, which can attack on its own. Mm -hmm. We can always discard a card to just to give it a plus one if we want to. I mean, we could have given. Look, this he a plus spent one all his mana. mana. He spent all his mana. Uh, what did he do? Did he discard? Well, it was the end of my turn. He spent all his. Oh, mana. not in his turn, right? Whoops. He's an experienced magic player who yeah. doesn't, doesn't like to play. He's blue. He's blue. Doesn't so he like doesn't to play, play anything turn. on his own turn. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. Okay, so we need to do. We can. We have got lethal. Okay. If we haste this boy in and attack with this and use Maximus. Yeah, possible. but he's not going to let that. Skylight Legionnaire is never. There is a blocker for him, um, which he needs to use. Okay. So. Smelt Ward Minotaur is an alternative. So this guy... Yeah, I think him. So Okay, so we play this. 
and the haste it, that stops this from blocking, and then he's dead. Yeah, right? exactly. But he'll, st he'll, st he'll get rid of it. We'll find but out. But then we'll send the Sky Knight Legionnaire in. He can't block both, I think, in the same turn. Oh, no, 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 because the instant spell costs one. So we'll see. Has he got... I mean, he needs, like, Essence Scatter or Cancel or something. I don't know what is in this draft thing. Yeah. I don't know what counter spells are actually in this format that he has access to. Oh, we let Apparently it in. Apparently nothing. And so then I can... Yeah, so you chuck the guild gate to cast Maximize Velocity. Put it on here. And then I chuck the guild gate. Discard the guild gate. All right, that gives me the ability to make this thing not block. And he's definitely going to stop this. He can't stop this. But he can cancel He can cancel that spell. The spell. He definitely will. But that's right, because we can just do it again. Yeah, we're not keep like discarding we can cards. Just keep discarding cards. Because it's only one mana every time. Let's do it again. Well, we don't need to do it again. So fail two, then choose an instant source card in your grave. You may cast that card this turn. So he's going to cast something which probably lightning bolts one of our things. However, we can probably buff. Can we jump? Oh, no, it's exiled, it's exiled now. Oh, after you jumped. I thought it would. you could just keep doing it. So we can't right. do anything, actually, now. I'm dumb. Well, no, I didn't know either. Um, we're learning. What's the first time we've ever used jump start? Return it to a hand. Ah. Okay. Oh, so now we can't really attack with it. Now we got nothing. Yeah. See, what he should have done is waited until I attacked before doing that spell, though. Because I would have attacked with the hawk, mm. and then he could have blocked the hawk and killed it. So he made a misplay there. So now I can't attack, because I know it'll die. Shit. I, I thought we could just keep doing that jump start forever. That's frustrating. It's okay. Next turn, we can go... If we draw a land, we can go Sky Knight Legion Oh, Air shit, no. He still can't play. block. We could have pecked him. Why but can't he block? Because the mi Minotaur said he meant he couldn't block. Oh, we missed one damage. That was part of the thing. You're right. We missed one. It wasn't a misplay on his part. It was our misplay. It was our misplay. Right, so he should be on three. Okay, that's my bad. If we draw a mountain or a plates, we can still... Oh, we can hit him to one. Fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got a new maximized velocity and a, the, the same Minotaur. Okay, let's just do it again. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we do the same thing as we did last time. And we block this thing. Okay. And he's like, okay, I can't block this turn. And then he deals five damage to Tug Creature. Sure. Shit. Um, and I guess this thing, it can, again, it can't block, right? So it's, it's, we can so it's still gone off. So let's peck him. Let's peck him for one. And then in turn. He's on three. He's on two, technically, if I hadn't made a misplay. Man, if we had fucking... Oh, if we had buffed the bird instead of the fresh race recruit, he'd be dead by now. Oh, he'd be well dead. That's <laughs> yeah. the, second, the second misplay of the game. So the first misplay was we did the wrong buff. The second misplay was... We, yeah, we messed up. We messed up this bad. We done, we done messed. Done goofed. Yeah. We should have known. We were always, always saying, oh, it would be good to buff that flyer. We were, we were saying, weren't we, Ben? Weren't we? Weren't we? You, were, you were saying it. I was I was wrong. Oh, there's a wee dragon oh, Shit. No. It's all right. This Cosmotronic Wave stops him from blocking. So um, we can... Well, let's get the whelp out. Let's just stack our board and then just do a big Cosmotronic Wave for the finish, right? Oh, yeah. Look, this thing, whenever it attacks, it deals one damage to target each divinity play. I mean, do we want to attack this turn? Um, has it got haste? We can buff it to have haste, you see. Yeah. I mean, I feel like he's just going to counter it again, right? Well, he can chump block it. That's the problem. Now, maybe we just wait until next turn and do a big Cosmotronic wave. I think we wait and hit him with both spells at once. We should stack it up so that he needs two counters in the same turn. Well, no, he's got two flying blockers now, so he can block both these things. So maybe we just... Oh, yeah, so we wait. We do... Yeah. We drop the Sky Knight Legionnaire. He counters it. Then we hit Cosmotronic Wave. And he hasn't got another counter left. He, well, we don't have enough land to play with. How much there. have we got? One, two, three, six. 
Shit. We, we're one off. I've been sort of hoping to do the combo with another land, but we're getting other stuff instead. I just think that the more time we give him, the more likely it's going to be that he starts fucking with that stuff. Like that. But maybe he would have had that anyway. So No, it's a sorcery. He wouldn't have been able to do it this turn. Even so, if we play, if we get one land, we can just do this combo, then hit him for three. And then if he doesn't interrupt it, then we win. But maybe we don't win. I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's the fun of playing blue, right? You just, you just don't know. We've got to get, we got to get these things out at some point. That's right, chat. Um, you know, he's, he's surveilling two now, so he's like looking in this deck. This thing's a three-three till the end of the turn. Doesn't matter. This is a very famous card. We, we Dragonauts. It's a very old card. Electromancer doesn't matter because we're not really fighting on the ground. We're fighting in yeah. the air. Um, Tug creature doesn't tap. Sure, just about saving enough mana for that. And then in we go with a fresh fish. But look, he's got no mana. Oh, I see. But that doesn't help. No. Oh, no, it does. Okay, we can play the fresh face recruit. We can maximize velocity. But then we can't. And we oh, can't we're, we're, one we're one mana short again. Uh, I think we just have to play. The Sky Knight has haste, right? Yeah. No, because he's got. He's got two blockers. <sighs> Shit. Well, yeah. Because if we go, if we if we attack if we play this and this, and then we haste this guy, he blocks this, blocks this, and this dies. So there's no value. I think we just want to get the creatures out. And end our turn. Yeah, otherwise they just die, don't they, if we attack? Maybe we should have saved one to jumpstart the maximum velocity, because now we don't have one to do that anymore. But we'll draw something, won't we? I mean, we don't need, yeah. Can that be all here, Steve? Steve's just like giving us yeah, special Steve's advice. Steve's coaching us. <laughs> He's like, yeah, do you know what you need to do? It's this, this. And I'm like, all right, Steve's got it. Steve's got our back. We don't need this if we're using this necessarily. Okay. So he's making sure this poor, poor, poor card. These two are just locking each other down permanently, but that's fine. He could have played like a card which put this in a bubble or whatever and it would have had the same impact. Um, or he could have just played a card that killed it. I mean, it's just been out of the game, hasn't it? Yeah, but I'm fine with that. His card's locked out, our card's locked out, but he has to spend like three mana a turn to maintain that position. So yeah. It's okay. He can jumpstart this this card. It's in his graveyard. Guild Summit. So he can untap um, any number of untapped gates. Sorry, you can tap it. You may tap any number of untapped gates. You control draw a card for each gate. Wow. wow. So he gets to draw cards with this enchantment. Okay. How many gates has he got? Four. Jeez. I've look at all these cards. Jesus Christ. What else did he play? See? Did you just play another land? I don't know. I can't keep track. Well, there's uh, well no, don't play it. Because we're going to Oh, I see. Do we want to use it for Maximize Velocity? Yeah, I think we just need to ham hammer this. Should we not try and draw out his counter spell with a Maximize Velocity first? On what? On just to give us a plus one, plus one on like the bird. He's only got one mana with which to counter. I don't think there's anything that does that. Well, just in case. Like, you know, there's no harm. Stick it on like the bird or something. And then... Okay, fine. We'll buff the maximize velocity on here. Okay, and then we we wave. The cosmotronic wave. No blocking, bitch! Creatures your opponent's control can't block this turn. We swing in. He's got... W I mean, he can't even... I don't know what he's got. Yay! Yeah. We, we won, won it! We won! Despite all the dick ripping, oh my we won God. a game, boys. Holy shit. Oh, feels good. We did it. Did we go down in rank? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be back in five minutes, guys, yeah, I'm gonna have where we will continue this draft. Oh, we got a reward. So we beat the Draftaholics, guys. We beat the Draftaholics. We got a flipping helicopter oh. dinosaur. Oh, helicopter dinosaur. <laughs> Perfect. Man, I think we did him a, pr a favor, really.
You know, if he's a, a, a draftaholic, he needs to, he go needs back to, to stop. School. He needs to. <laughs> he needs to stop. <laughs> stop doing it. Think of your family, draftaholic. <laughs> this is an intervention. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to be back in five minutes. Five minutes. See you then.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Retro Week. This is a branded stream mm. for Magic the Gathering Arena. Arena. It, open beta of which comes out tomorrow. You can check it out. It's fun. I like it anyway. And it's free. And it's free. If you don't free? like it, it's free. free. Uh, we are playing the Fresh Faced Boys. Keep that music going, Steve. This is like <laughs> this is much more the, the mood we want to keep this going. This is the Fresh Faced Boris and Boys. And their dads. Uh, Fresh Faced Boris Boys and their dads. What a deck name. It's too long. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, uh, and we didn't even get Boros in. Well, I didn't I, have to. I said I wanted to be the Boros boys, and Lewis so, was like, so I've last, got such a better name. Last time, our fresh faced recruits and yep. our uh, hen, uh, our the, the hawk, 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 hawk squared so off against some horrible blue black counter spell deck, but they couldn't counter us that well. And Cosmotronic Wave won us the game. Yeah. Uh, we had a couple of these guys come down. We didn't see our sergeant. No. Actually, we did drop one of them. Even though. Um, we played. Did we have enough guild gates for him to be even be like? I think we did. Yeah, we had. We had at least one out. Um, did we want to make any changes? I don't think we even are allowed. Can we to. make changes? I don't. Know. I kind of want to put my book monster in. You want to put the book monster in? I like the book monster. Who is the book monster? There he Lucifer. is. Ah, bah, 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 bah. It's got a great picture. <laughs> yeah. I feel like again, like once we got there, we didn't need his ability. No, we and then he's just yeah. a oh, kind of. He's just a, a really big, expensive thing. That's a big very good. mega boy. Aww. Uh, a, a mega fantastic boy. Be gone, uh, sends a message. Hi, Lewis and Ben. Hyped to see some Magic the Gathering Arena. I suggest you install the Deckmaster Twitch overlay. It will mm. display the cards so that chat can mouse over them and see what they do. Wow. Oh. Steve oh, said Steve's he's working, on, working it. on it. That now, sounds amazing. I think you probably have to install it on this cl this computer, though, Steve, right? Or well, no, probably on the one that has OBS. No, I reckon it overlays on the screen. Uh. And then... It's like a in, in -game great suggestion you've gone. Steve says he wants to do it. Uh, yeah, well, we should figure it out because that sounds amazing. Good luck with your games. Thank you, Be Gone. Oh, that's all the donations so far. But don't worry, we've had some sub messages. Some, I saw one actually in the break. Someone mm -hmm. said um, something exciting. Uh, can I find it? Uh, Moomin says, Ben, are you going to play any more Warhammer on Tom's channel? I uh, haven't any plans to because we're playing it on stream. We would normally be playing it today, but we're doing this instead. But next week, next Wednesday, it'll be Tom and Ben Warhammer. Um, I'm sorry to anybody who was tuning in for that way better content. Um, tough fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Captain um, Chemistry subbed up. He said, nothing better than listening to my two favorite yogs while working on my graduate coursework. Mm -hmm. Lewis, any advice on accomplishing a graduate degree in chemistry? Sounds like you're well on the way. Do your coursework, I guess. Turn up yeah. for lectures. Don't listen to our nonsense while you're trying to concentrate. Make notes. Just, just, just do some work. Honestly, like, yeah. Your name is Captain Chemistry. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're fucking you're up. Committed. If you're not like, <laughs> spend less time worrying about it and more time doing it. Yeah. I found that's where where a lot of people fell down. It, honestly, um, for me, it was the, the way I got ended up not failing my degree was that I went and worked in industry for a year with people who were really like passionate about it, and we did like a weekly meeting, and it was only like an hour every week, but. We went through like complicated organic chemistry problems and just having like a group of friends who were into it was like oh yeah it's just like going was, to the it gym was what right? it was about yeah it's like, like sucks doing it on your own i think that's the secret of life right find passionate people who are passionate about things you're passionate about and then and then you know leech off their passion <laughs> suck the passion out of them. that's a good point though like I used to hang out with some guys who were just miserable all the time, and they made me miserable, and then I stopped hanging out with them. And then you left the Yogg's cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's this guy. Oh, Ushikai. Bedka versus Ushikai. He looks like serious business. Um, we've got we, are, boys. we are going to keep this hand. You think? Just because of good land? Well, yeah, because like we've got one ones. These guys, when they die, they come back with more one ones. Sure, we can't cast them on turn one, but I think oh. we can cast everything. And the opponent goes first, so I'm thinking we keep this. Just mm, I don't know. It didn't, it didn't feel like a strong hand, but the mana balance is good. I, 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 I'm more scared of fucking myself. Yeah, you, you'd rather take like a four out of ten hand than risk a, a two or a one. Oh, green. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Green, indeed. Green, mm. green interesting. So we can go Hunted Witness into Smelt Ward Minotaur, and obviously Righteous Blows there to stop... Stop with stuff. 
Yeah. Stop with messy things. Stop them messing with us. Swam. And these witnesses mean we'll almost we're almost guaranteed to um, be able to kill that thing. Yeah, perfect. The witness can and now get we've got eaten by a vampire. vampire. So we do need another white land for that. Yeah, this is awkward. But we'll find out if we get that. Well, that's a couple of turns away. We don't need to worry about that immediately. Yeah, most of our stuff doesn't require two of the same land. See, he'll be scared to attack into us with this because uh, he doesn't want to just lose it straight away. Um, but if he buffs it, we can always kill it. Yeah. I, I, I'm looking. Well, I'm looking to trade. We can't really use righteous bloke. Looking to trade because that's uh, too much white. Yeah. But next turn. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, are there emotes? Oh, there are. Hello. We could go minotaur. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, we should go minotaur. This is a nice thing for late game. Yeah. Because like we can cast it twice. And they've either got to... I mean, this is really good defense, isn't it, against that Child of the Night? Um, yeah, I mean, he can... If he wants to trade in on this... Oh, not fast. I don't know if black or green has a lot of things that do one damage. If I was playing against red, okay. I might be scared of, like, an effect that does one damage. Do you right, see what I mean? and then lets the Child of the Night kill the Minotaur. So he, so he trades in, I block it, and then he... But he does have green, so he might be 1-1. One, one. Like, if he attacked in now, it might be a bluff, but actually... People don't generally bluff in magic. Well, no, but you can. Because I think. But, but, but look, if he if he attacks with this thing now, I'm probably not going to block it. Just in case. Because it's not really worth my time to block it. Just in case he has that plus two, plus two. Especially if he's got all of his land up. Green's got a lot of, like, yeah, little buff shitty stuff. buff spells. I don't know. Do you know what I mean, chat? Or is there no... But the thing is, once you know this format well... Once yeah, you've played a few draft games of this. Well, that's because we don't really know what green has. You get a picture of like, but green always has these little cheeky buff spells. Uh, Severed strands, additional cost oh. of buff spells, sacrifice a creature. So he actually right, he just sat decided that he was just gonna slam it. Yeah, trade, just trade it up. What a play! Okay. So unfortunately, we've now not drawn any lands for a few turns. Um, we yeah, started with these, stalled. and we've not drawn any more. So we, so get we another can out. play this, and that's all we can play, which is really quite bad for us. Pretty slow, and we're a bit of a bit of an aggro deck, so a slow slow start's not what we want. Yeah, I mean, we could do this. We could have done risk factor, but he would have probably put, he would have just taken the damage. He would have just taken more damage, and then it's like not really good. Not, not very good. It's a good thing to do when he like, gets. Gets getting, it, it make, we, uh, the best thing with choices is making them make a difficult choice. At the moment, it's not a difficult choice. But right now, it, what was that? Oh, Enchantment Land. I love these cards. You oh. don't see them enough. Enchant Land, when it enters the for a card, and you get oh, some nice. mana. Uh, I have to uh, discard a card. And then puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. Oh, I don't geez. know if we need this anytime soon. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, yeah, get rid of the Cosmotronic Wave. I mean, it won us We're the certainly last not going to play it right now. Oh, this is a Guild Mage we can play. So we should. Um, okay, attack all! What does our Guild Mage do? So he's got two spells. Mm -hmm. Both of them require him to tap. Um, so we I can, can spend a enemy. lot of money to deal with money. A lot of a mana to deal three damage to him, or Very inefficient. A, a cheap amount of money to just tap one of his creatures. So this is useful for us if we're still mana starved. Yeah, we can just we can lock still, down a large creature. If he whacks down a 5-5 five five now mm. with all of his super forests. Um, so basically this enchantment doesn't give him an extra mana. Oh, it just, just makes, makes him have any color. color. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, when it dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. So we want to kill that before, but we can't. Yeah, we can keep it tapped though, or we could play this um, to deal three to damage kill it. to each creature. Oh, well, everything in the in the entire board. Um, so we don't really want to lose our undo. No, we do not. Should we keep it tapped for now? Because we've got not a lot else to spend our mana room. We could we could just attack with everything and let him trade it if he wants to, but he might trade with one of these one ones. The trouble is, we have no other nothing else to spend our mana on, do we? That's true. I reckon we'll just because that way at least we can attack the two and like nice and safe I think we need to definitely hold on to this the great thing about these guys is they come back so yeah. if we do want to wipe the board we've still got two 1-1s coming back that's true um, 
we shouldn't have done this here. What we should have done was wait until it was his fucking turn. I forgot. So he can now just attack for... Yeah, I, I did exactly no, the same thing. I thought he'd be tapping sorry, his guys, turn as my well. My bad. Totally. We just... Oh. Misplay number one. Okay, okay, keep, okay, keep a count. Misplay. There's probably way more misplays we're making. But the ones we spot are really bad ones. <laughs> Social library for up to two basic land cards and or mm. gate cards. Put them in that for a tap. Okay. Shuffle your library. Wow, he's ramping. This is a lot of mana. He's ramping. The great thing about this card is that it thins your deck too. So it means you're more likely to draw active cards. That's, that's punishing. But we can now attack before. So maybe you want to just slap Maniacal Rage on um, our, our, one of these boys and just go to town. Yeah, I mean, what we could do is keep Righteous Blow, and the next time a Centipede comes in, just blammo, Righteous Blow it. Yeah, that's true. All right, so... We could just go, yeah, Maniacal Rage on one of our guys, and then just everyone attacks. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's okay. a lot of damage. So we can Righteous Blow this thing as it comes in. Okay, that seems like a, a plan. Oh, God, look at this little scorpion over here. <laughs> Get out of, Get out of like here. It's like this thing, but bigger. Oh, man. So he's... I mean, we've got a guild mage who's come out of our guild gate. Obviously, it's like a little house. Oh, okay, that's a house. There. Yeah. Uh, we've got two haunted Victorian guys who've I, seen something bad. But what are they doing? Like, I get... I like that. Oh, the they're, not hunt, they're not cool. haunted. They're hunted. They're hunted. They're I read like, that as being, haunted this oh, whole time. They're being stalked. But now they've, they've turned... They've turned the tables on the, on the aggressor. Blammo, righteous blow from our guild mage. Wapow. See, I mean, he didn't play another creature. I feel like he should have known something was going to happen, right? Maybe not. It's weird. He must. I bet he's just got a shit hand. He's got nothing but land, I reckon. He would have put another creature down. See, we've got not enough land. We've got, we're struggling with these three, yeah, but I think, I think we should have kept. Just one more and we would have been all right. Oh, there we go. That fixes that will get the, That'll get the four mana. So that'll get the captain out next turn. Mm hmm um, which is probably enough to keep going. Oh, there's a nice little story forming now. Our, our Boros theme is yeah, see, is a she, thing. She gets the guild. She gets her locket out. out. Yeah, like and she uses don't worry. that to call for aid. Gondor calls for aid, and I then have the captain a solution. turns up. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Convoke is is you can you can use your creatures to cast. Uh, it. So if you had like a bunch of creatures down. So this is a classic um, fog effect. Yeah. So sometimes there's 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 a lot of. Um, there was cards like this in Destiny as well. Um, and you can... Oh, he wants me to discard another card. Oh, crap. I think we might want to chuck um, the Whelp, actually. Do you think we'll never get enough mana to cast Because it? at this rate, we're not casting it. And I'd rather cast Risk Factor soon. Mm. Because if we get can hit him now for five, six... That yeah, put that then like, hit him with Risk Factor afterwards. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, now we've got... I totally agree. Actually... Maybe we want to... Do we want to keep that to use to Risk Factor again? Like as the discard card? I think we risk factor next turn. I think we hit this this turn. Okay. And then we slam him with everything. And then next turn we, we're facing him down and he's like, I'm in trouble now. But, I mean, he's not white, which means that he hasn't, this, it's not obvious that he's got like the big board wipes. Yeah, green's not usually got green, a lot of board wipes. I mean, wipes. black has some, Yeah. but they're not as like impactful. So I think we want to... What do these guys do? What's special about his, his boys? So he's got Kogari Raiders, Undergrowth. Oh, he's oh, he's good anyway. Up. He's conceding anyway. Boom! Boros boys! Two wins, Ben. Two wins, Two Boros wins. boys Bor and their dad. <laughs> yeah. The dad came out at the end there. Or was it his mum, actually? I guess it was a lady, so it was his mum. I'm claiming that. Which one yeah, Which one it. was it that came out at the end? The, um, the, the, that one. It was his mum, and yeah. this is the dad. I like him. He's so silly. Is he like your dad? I think he's like the Boros Space Pope, the Lizard Pope King. He looks like a cleric, doesn't he, with his robe mm. and his staff. Did this feel okay, this deck? Those five banners were, were... I think if we'd had the, 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 the book dragon, we would have regretted it. Yeah. Don't you think? I think we're an aggro deck, so we shouldn't have that many expensive stuff. Yeah. I mean, good for battle. I, I, I think, like, this is something we might... might sh we might... Can we change now? I think we can change it any time. Oh, we can. I think we can. I, mean, I think Gird for Battle is just better than this. But then again, this right. means this is more flexible. Maybe not. Maybe not change. I shouldn't change what's working, Ben, should I? I think you're right. I think Gird for Battle is better. The only way the... Um, uh, the other one, the 2-2 two, the two, two is better on a flyer, I suppose. If you only have one creature out. We don't seem to have a problem with having creatures out, actually. Mm -mm. Especially with these two. With these witnesses, yeah. 
They were in witness protection. Watch, watch it go all horribly wrong this time. No, though. we're building up, building up our pride. Uh, Two hundred percent win rate. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Michaelson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you fucking know it. That's how me and Ben roll. So I was playing a game today. I was playing. Um, I was playing Mechanicus. Oh yeah, I, I've got a yeah. key for that today, but I haven't had a chance. I to don't play know it if yet. I'm allowed to talk about it yet, but I was hoping we could maybe play it tomorrow because. Really stoked for it, mm. uh, but it is retro week, so maybe Ben, we should try and find something retro. Maybe like a game from the nineties. Maybe some kind of old turn-based strategy yeah, game that no one's any, played in a million years. Do you have any idea? <laughs> uh, Suspicious Nick Cage says, "I have a brother who's definitely into Magic: The Gathering. Mm. I'm new, but he's helping me try and learn. Oh man, cool. getting me to play more. Wow, your previous Magic: The Gathering videos have been not only entertaining but also helping me become better." Thank you, guys, and keep them coming. Now, we have not been great with our latest Magic the Gathering videos. I, I've looked back, and I'm, I think we could do think better. Be better. I think they're not very clear about what's going on, and sometimes we're very wiffle waffly. We talk a lot. It's crap. tricky, though, because we want to have some chats and some bants, don't we? We want to yeah. have some fun with it. I mean, we, we don't want to have... We like, we like the bants. You know, Battle Boys is about the bants. Bant Bantle Boys. <laughs> Bantle, Bantle, Bantle Boys. Bantle Bants. Battle Bants. It's slow, but... And as a result, sometimes we don't get much... I don't know, like... Do you know what I mean? It's tough. I w it's like a balance to be had between mm. clear game, clear play. gaming, an actual join game, and bants around it. And we obviously always lead on the side of the bants. Um, but yeah, exactly. Like, but but at the same time, um, we're, we're never going to follow the rules. Like, particularly, I mean, we're never, we're never. I mean, we're never going to change away from that. Like, if we don't like a rule, we're going to agree together. Thing. Well, I feel like in Magic, we're pretty pretty good at the rules. We forget stuff, but we never like knowingly. Is this Wizards of the Coast? This is a this a is star. an official member of Wizards of the Coast. Shit. <laughs> well, but that doesn't mean he's good. His name's McCuddle Cookie. McCookie Cuddle. Oh, I think he's just trying to. Um... Oh, we can get a witness out straight away. Oh, or a hawk. So uh, we've got. Although Steve. they have a member of their actual <laughs> wizards, uh, we have. Steve. We have the Welsh. Steve. How are you doing, Steve? After your electrocution yesterday, you. He's seen the doctor. Oh shit, you got electrocuted. Yeah, it was one of these lights. Oh shit. It was the one in the games night room, or one of those oh, big fuck. lights. Oh, well, I mean, surely if it was, you know, something bad had happened, it would have happened. Oh, don't fucking say that. No, but I just mean, like. Steve's gonna. Are you alright? Like. He says he's alright. He's alright! I'm alright, Matt, Matt. Have you got electric powers now? Are you a supervillain? He says no. He just has chest pains. Okay, I'll stop. Stop joking then. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine medical issues are, are not funny. Um, did you hear um, Daltos from our chair admirals? He he does not have the butt rot. It's, what do you mean the butt rot? Do you remember he had a colonoscopy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he's, do. He's, his butt's all good. He's How got does this good work? Butt. Um, target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. So can I just one shot this thing straight I, out? I don't straight see why not. Okay. I think I should, right? I can smack him. Yeah. Justice! So it'll do three to itself. Bam, it's dead. But I think he still gets to surveil. But I think it definitely needs to die. Yeah. Because um, I can't kill it with Cosmotronic Wave. Yeah. I was thinking maybe I save... Maybe he would have blocked... I think he would have blocked this thing, though. Do you know what I mean? And I could have used that instead. I think we just... We, there's no point in holding back. We're fighting against blue. If we ever get the chance to cast anything, we should do it. That's true. Blue... Fuck. It's, it's the worst. Um, this is annoying. Yeah, bit. that Drake is just in the way of our bird. But, I mean, that wouldn't have died to the other thing anyway. All right. Uh, but if we cast a spell, then that Drake can't block because the Minotaur. Oh, right. So if we just do maximum velocity... On the Hunted Witness that just came out. Yeah. And then attack all, he can't block. Oh my god, Ben, you're fucking... You're fucking doing it. Boom, boom, boom! He's on seven, we can Cosmotronic Wave for the win. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, we've only got five damage on the table. One, two, three, four, five. You're right. Six. Oh, if we draw my island. Or an island? A, a, man, a man. A plains. A, a, a land that we can discard. He's drawing a card with a radical idea. It's not what he needs right now. He yeah. needs an unradical idea. He needs in the box thinking. In the well, look, we can risk factor him. Uh, he'll have to. Yeah, and he'll have to give us three cards. And the Minotaur will then fuck back Drake up again. Yeah. Oh God. That, oh, this Minotaur is great. 
Well, Minotaur was a good pick. I didn't rate out. it. I didn't no, rate I did it in the draft. It. I was like, well, but it's well. it's actually really working. It is, it is legit. We turned it to an aggro deck. It's what we've done. We built a red aggro deck, Ben, with some cheeky white, cheeky little white boys. Yeah. <laughs> that is not racist. It's <laughs> it's, it's it's magic. Magic the Gathering. So, uh, why are we happening? green, by the way? GRN. Why are we both green? GR oh, um, Guilds of Ravnica or something. Like that. Ah. Everyone's got it. It's part of the pro like the promo thing they did for us. Um, what happened? I think we've won. Oh, he gave us the card draw. But we can now gird for battle. And now he's going to do a, a pointless thing. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Hang on. Oh, he's... This thing's tapped. And it he tapped it? With this Sonic Assault. Sonic oh, look, it's assault. even got a Minotaur getting Sonic Assaulted. So you can't Oh, my God, that's that. literally who's what? <laughs> God, it's the uh, same guy. It's the same guy. It's the same guy. I think we just uh, play more minions and just attack him in the face. And then next turn, we Cosmotronic Wave for the win. Yeah? All right. I mean, we could go I mean, to the battle. He can't block this turn. So we can just get it all in. But I feel like instead, we should just add to our board. Right? Because... Okay. I, it feels like, I, t tell me, tell me, tell me, I mean, yeah. Do you know what a maximum, oh, we can't, right, okay. That's fine. It's, I think it works either way. I mean, this gives us, it's, it's effectively hasted damage. Mm. But, I, I mean, I, I feel like. I don't see any way we could lose now. No, I feel like this is a better play. I'm more concerned about just board wipes or something that hits everything for one. But these guys come back as yeah. one ones. So we'll always have something left, even if he board wipes. Yeah, and then we got this to buff us, this to... This to do, but oh, we're, we're, he's fucked. Should I just say well played right now? <laughs> Good game. <laughs> he knew he was in trouble. We did it. That's three. That's three. Three fucking nil, Ben. Three nil. Steve, you drafted a real good one here. The secret is that Steve was whispering in our We've got our secret weapon. Time. Secret, Steve. Oh, we'd like to get some gems, guys, in a bonus pack if we fucking, fucking win. Keep winning. Well, where does it cap out at? Seven, what? I think. Maybe eight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh man, we're doing it. We're doing it. Dr. Wested Duckle says memes, memes, memes. <laughs> These memes. Uh, Samwise2450 says, here's some pie for the pie god. Data for his what? Wait, this isn't Warhammer Ben. If the Brothers Doomborn <laughs> were to play magic, what would their words of wisdom be? Oh, how would the Doomborn play Magic the Gathering? Who are the Doomborn? The Brothers Doomborn are two, two brothers from the, from the Northern Wastes who worship chaos. One is a... Is a, is a warrior of evil who is blind, but is a scout. Mm -hmm. And his brother is the skinny Danny DeVito to his muscular Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> right. And uh, Danny Doomborn is a wizard who often explodes on Danny. casting spells. Um, they don't seem to have a very long lifespan. I mean, one of them's blind already, and one of them explodes. Yeah, but he's got Pongo the stank horse, mm -hmm. who's like his guide horse. Mm -hmm. seeing, so he's a real scout. <laughs> he's <laughs> yeah. the real brain for the operation. Yeah. The eyes, I guess, are the operation. Right. Um, how would they play magic? They, they're generally completely incompetent and lead themselves and their armies to doom every time. Um, and so the motto goes, born. don't do what the doomborn do. Or, or doom do will, fall, will do <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. um, Oh, fucking hell. Uh, Sir of the Death wants us to play uh, Total Annihilation on Monday. He keeps telling us. I think there's certain people who donate every time we stream mm -hmm. on Mondays. Except Sir is obviously doing it on Wednesday because he's Sir of the Death. He likes magic. But he's telling us we should play Total Annihilation. It's a very popular popular request. Um, and we will get around to it, maybe. Wait, I remember when it came out, my PC couldn't handle it. Total Annihilation? So I never really played it. Yeah, because it was really hungry on the list. It's a bit of a retro game, isn't it? Maybe it's pretty done. retro now, isn't it? Luke Beasley Long subbed up, thank you. So did Reska Hold and Unintended 87. What What does that mean? Well, this is definitely a mulligan, I'm afraid, here. Uh, what, with one planes? Yeah. yeah. I feel like we can't... We can play the Hawk and then... And then, then we're all. just fucked. Yeah, mulligan. Also, we don't really need two of these. No. So. <laughs> this okay. looks fine, because we can get the locket out to get the white we need for these yeah. guys. But might be a bit slow. Oh, we want to keep that white. I think we do just want to keep that, because we can always sacrifice this at four mana. Amaz. What do you reckon he's doing? Amaz? Oh, fucking, is this Amaz? Is he a thing? He's a fucking massive streamer. Is he? And he's a huge Hearthstone guy. We're going to oh, get fucking shit. wrecked. Oh, shit. He's going to wreck us. Okay. Amaz. Fucking Amaz. I'm, I watch Amaz. I like Amaz. 
Um, we just get it to kill itself? No, we could play the guild mage. Oh, we're not just going to trade. Well, this is a better card. So, well, the guild mage. Well, we could save this for something that we actually want to kill. Mm. You know. Oh man. Should we say hello to him? Uh, yeah, sure. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can just. I don't think we should fucking it. trade in. No, no, our card's better. Our card's better. Oh. Might as well save, oh. save the health. All right, there's a two-two. What's this thing? So this is his guild mage, I guess. Creatures okay. you control get plus one, plus zero, and menace till the end of the turn. Mm, cost five though, so that's a long way off. And you can play stuff to get some more stuff. Play that long. Yeah. So this is a nice bit of ramp. Can't the next turn we can guild play mage, the man. the whelp. Well, we're going to have to get rid of that thing at some point, and I didn't want to do it this turn. What do you want him? To just hammer into us every turn? Like, Well, you've got the life. We'd be dead now. We'd be dead by now. <laughs> We'd be dead now. <laughs> you've got to play these things when you can. Hellkite. Well, see, now, now, now look at this. He's got two mana. We're fucking out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amaz is a big yeah. gamer. He's a big... It's a big thing. Of course, he's got more views than us. We're fucking. We're well, let, let's go for think? the free promo. He's like, let's a do it. Um, hello, <laughs> hello to thousands of Amaz people. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is our chance, Lewis. We can be seen. We can be seen on the scene. I think we need to sacrifice. Can you stream snipe for us, Steve? Why didn't you get the fresh face recruit don't out? Fucking, don't fucking tell me how to play. We could. Don't, do not stream snipe. <laughs> this is not how it works, you guys. <laughs> For goodness sakes. Uh. All right, we're going to be aggressive. We're going to play our aggressive deck, right? We're just going to do this. Why didn't you get the fresh-faced recruit out? Why didn't I? Great question. I don't understand. So I'm, I'm, playing, I'm playing for the cards. I want, I want more, more stuff. We didn't need that for us, guild, guild dude. We needed to pay the four at some point, and I feel like it's better now. We've got two more land in here. We can play almost everything next turn. We're saving this for when he has a big creature, which he's green. So, so he will. There's going to be one. Yeah. Um, this thing can come out any time, and it can trade with this great. And this, this thing can come out and start hitting him mm -hmm. from next turn. But well, we, we can get, drop all, both our creatures next turn. Well, if we draw into one of our haste things, we can play this out with that, and it won't yeah. make any difference. I was thinking maybe we would, because we've got two of them in the deck. And then, you know, you don't just play him out to get killed. Um, yeah. Mm. This, this, when this triggers eventually for its five mana cost, that's like a very scary impactful effect. If he's got a lot of creatures out. Yeah, but he probably probably won't be but able to. But also, I don't think that. he will, because look, he's got a white out. I don't think he's got black in his deck. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. How's he got that black mana? Uh, what, from, from this guild game? Uh, why has he got our planes in there then? Look at this. See, we didn't get to draft a mythic rare planeswalker. Yeah, that feels kind of bullshit, doesn't it? It's what, so what does it do? I was I didn't read it. So she basically is um, sacrifice another permanent, gain one life, and draw a card. Yeah. Um, destroy. A, wow, destroy something three or less. We need to kill her like ASAP. Well, we will. We can hit her for five this turn, which is fine. Um, so we'll just do that. Hang on. Well, okay. Hit her, but then we've also got more we can drop. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So she's, I think he, she's, I don't know what, what she spawned on, but I assume he sacrificed something. What did he sacrifice? He Do you think this guy did a draft, right? Because we've got infinite money. We've got infinite money, right, for this night of streaming. Yeah. Do you think he did a draft and went, nah, this deck's shit. Do another draft. This no, shit. I'm do sure he didn't draft. do that. I'm sure he did not do that. That's, 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 that's not, that's not something people do in this game. It's, Totally something people do. That's not something people do. Relax. Look, that's not... I like him as a lot. He's great. He's doing fine. We, look, we don't need to cheat. Look, this is Matt. Look. We've got Steve. He's had an electric <laughs> shock. We've got Ben. He now has magic electric There's powers. There's a Minotaur in our deck somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's fine. Oh, look. He's eat eating his tokens. Yeah. Smart. He's drawing cards with this. Smart. Don't worry, guys. We got this. So he's now only on three, and he's got nothing to block with, so the, the whelp can kill on its own. This thing, when it attacks, can kill this thing. So that's dead. This thing can't be blocked, it's got first strike. This thing can't be blocked, mm. this thing can't be blocked. So we're hitting three, killing that. And You're right, we're in a good spot. We don't need to cheat. 
We, we're great. I we'll mean, he's fun. got a handful of cards, and there's a hawk. But right, we all got hawks, mate. We all got hawks. But in fact, that's actually good to kill. I want to kill that with the um, with the uh, with the one thing. So don't just destroy. But can we? Ma is maximize velocity a, an instant? Can we do it once blockers have been declared? Because um. we could. Oh yeah! I forgot we could do that. Yeah. So we kill this, and then, and then we just send the other flyers in. Oh right? shit! I misclicked. What happened? Oh! Is there an oops button? We need to say oops. <laughs> let, let me say oops. <laughs> <laughs> Easily done. Look, mistake number one of this game already has happened. <laughs> oh my god, what's this thing? Flight of Equinauts. Convoke flying 3 5. Okay, so we can just strike that and kill it. Well, no, it doesn't kill it. We, with the help we, we can with the whelp. Yeah. So don't worry. It's fine. We know what we're doing. Sorry, we could just attack with everything. It's fine. What? Okay. Full attack. So, all attack, four attackers. Bam. And then should we strike it now before it takes up one of our units? Yeah, strike yeah, it yeah, before yeah. he assigns blockers. So, we can now kill this thing. Just a strike! Well, hopefully. And then Birdo. Hopefully he's um, able to, like, hopefully... Hopefully he's he's played that out as a big thing. Cause look at that seven mana. Eight mana. Fuck, that's big. But I think he convoked it out with his little chumps. Of see. course, because he had little boys. So hopefully he hasn't got anything bigger than that in his hand. See what I mean? Unless that was baiting out our removal. Maybe. So if he comes down with like a six six now, I'll be like, oh fuck. Two more tokens. Okay. We got so much flying though. Look, all our shit's flying. No, let it in. Let it in. It's not worth. It'll heal him one, but we can keep chipping away at one a turn. Thing is, all, all this lifelink means that he can heal up quite a bit, right? Um, oh, good for battle, because yeah. we can we can give our hawks plus one plus one each and have like two two lifelinks. Yeah. How much damage can we actually do here? This is quite a lot of damage. Yeah. We can we can do like two, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, oh, twelve. Wow, he's like almost dead. Okay, so I think we probably because these are both oh no, these are both sorcery. So we need to decide to play we him now. Do it now. Play him now. Fine, we'll buff both of our hawks then. And then, do we want to buff this guy? Um, we could buff. We could buff this. We could, if we buff this guy, then he can take he can out kill everything. No, not quite. He'd need four attack, wouldn't he? Do we want to save it, though? I'd save it for when we, the haste is useful. Because we can play it twice, remember, in a turn as well. So we, it's always mm. there. Uh, do we want the recruit to not attack? No. Uh, we can just kill one We can one snipe of one of those. Fine. Yeah. And then if he just... I mean, he might have to block the recruit anyway. Like, double block it. Because if he double yeah. blocks it, then... Then it's dead. It's dead. But so is his guild mage. Which he's using currently to heal himself for two per turn. Yeah. So actually, we quite like to kill his guild mage, even if we lose our recruit off the back. Which is which is okay. Um. Oh shit! We, maybe we should have done if we give him. F well, this is what I was thinking because if we buffed him, then it would kill both. But he still would have died. Yeah. Uh, would he? Because he's got first strike. Yeah. All right. Oh well. Bam. Oh man, chat's saying we had um, we had lethal this turn apparently. I don't think we did. Because of the lifelink blocking means it's quite tricky. Yeah. But everything else is flying, so, you know. I mean, we're going to take... I mean, he's got nothing. We've got fucking, like, a lot of damage across multiple flyers. I feel like I feel like he's in a pretty bad spot. We drew really well, though. We got all of our flying stuff. Well, the, the whelp is a great counter to his deck. Because he's got tokens. So every turn we just get to snipe a token for nothing. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit. What was that? Bounty of might. Tug, three, three, gets three, three guys get plus three. Whoa! Ooh. So we're lucky. Okay, so maybe he should. Oh, with a lifelink, just shot him straight up to 18. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. 
It's okay, we can still actually do this. I mean, how many of those things has he got? Yeah. And we've got, we're gaining four health a turn from the birds, which is fine. Well, this thing can now chump though for us as well, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a scary card. It's really nowhere. scary, isn't it? Jeez. So that's one of his... I like these kind of decks. I used to always build token decks. And anything that like buffs multiple creatures and like... He's got stuck cards that sacrifice creatures and it's a, it's a great, great token So does deck. this this thing can be on the same creature three times, right? Or yeah, it's it? three separate instances, I suppose, of plus three, plus three. Wow. So you can make one <laughs> creature 10-10. Ten, ten. Yeah. You stick it on a trample guy, but having it on the lifelink is, is really good. Oh man, let's do this. The Ben, the Ben deck is gonna win it for us. Oh, these are both as bad. Well, we've got the fly. Rose main center. It's mm. cool card. Oh, we got the Minotaur. Uh, the Minotaur with the haste. The Minotaur's gonna win us the game again. Oh. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Minotaur for the win. Which one do we want to block? This. The 4-4, four, four, yeah? 4-4, four, four. yeah, right, fine. And then, um, target creature and opponent controls. Oh, no, I buffed his creature with 1-1. One, one. What? Oh, right. dude. It doesn't <laughs> 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 Oh, misclick city. Hang on, no, we didn't cast it. It's okay, it goes in our graveyard. Oh, I see, right. Yeah. So, how... This is the Did we just miss lethal again because you didn't haste the Minotaur? <gasps> oh my god. Hey, press oops. I don't want him to think we're BMing him with two <laughs> missed lethals. Like, fuck. We didn't miss lethal last time. Well, apparently chat said we did, and I. This is the thing. You can never be. You can never be too careful with magic. Is there a sorry button? I don't want him to think we're BMing him. Oops is, oops is a sorry. No, but, uh, but people might take it sarcastically, like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, oh. We are genuinely bad. We're just bad. <laughs> it's not BM. Game thrown. Can we type those? People can come back. For, we, you can come back. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Steve, look, if you want to come in here and take over, you're welcome to. We, I'm, I'm blaming us, chat. We're the thing all is, I, equally responsible. I hate BM in these kind of games. It winds me up. Like, just let them through, I think. What, because he's gonna buff this thing up and kill our dude? Yeah. yeah. And we can take right. it, we've got the health. Yeah. Um, right. No, because PM is like one of my real, like, pieces. Oh, wave! Yeah. Woo! Okay. Woo! We, even we can't <laughs> fuck this one up now. Uh, yeah, so we've um, got that from blocking, even though it can't even block. Though none anyway. of them can block anyway. Oh, we did it, guys. We All fucking, attack. We fucking did it. Uh, oh, chat's asking. BM is, is bad manners. It's when you, like, you just taunt your opponent and you're a We're not bad BMing. We, we are, are just no, bad. Like, I just hate it. There's no need There's to, There's like, no M. It's just B. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, don't worry. We did it. We did it. We're now beginner limited rank. We can keep going. Ben, we drafted a good deck. We have made a good deck, haven't we? You need to earn yeah. More gold. Man, we beat for Nebraska. Us. We beat like our boys, our fresh-faced boys and their dads have come out <laughs> of the gate. These fresh-faced, look at that chubby look face. Look at him. How can you fucking not oh, love that Oh, he's guy? so proud. This guy can't make it made an appearance. He, this guy has won us every game we've played. The Cosmotronic look Wave again, saving <laughs> us. Yeah. Our mum came out. She, she didn't come out, did she, today? Um, our dad came out. He didn't come out. No, it was all of our had, flyers. We haven't had the space out. boat. It was the yet. Welp, the Legionnaire. And we, the Birdos. And we drew, we drew every single flyer in our deck. The Whelp, actually the Whelp was the, was the MVP, I think, Whelp. The Whelp did well. He was good killing one damage every turn. Yeah. Oh shit, he was 6-2 um, when he drew against us. Okay. So if he'd won, he'd have finished his, he would have got a perfect run. We oh. spoiled his dreams. So we lost him his seven wins. Yeah. Well, that's gonna happen to us though, Ben. Yeah. Just you watch, just you watch. It, honestly, like magic is a little bit. If you're unlucky with drawing, you're gonna you're gonna be unlucky. But if you do draw, you're a fucking planeswalker. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's where we went wrong. We forgot to draw to draft our <laughs> planeswalker. <laughs> we didn't draft a mythic rare, <laughs> yeah. but we didn't need it. Yeah. Oh, it happens. It happens a lot. Um, man, it's nice. I'm a big fan of Amaz. I'm a big fan of these Hearthstone guys. You know. I'm I've never watched. Big it. fan of Hafu. She's streaming right now. Some magic. Is. Yeah, so they went to all the big card game streamers and said, do you want to play a, a day before everyone else? Yeah, and everyone was like, hell yeah. Yeah, we will. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and us too. Deathsea. 
Who's this? Let's see. Is he a streamer? I think everyone is going to be streaming this right now. Shall I check, Steve? Check if there's a, a stream. We're gonna oh, look this. at the two fresh-faced boys. But we have no red. We have doesn't no, no mountain. matter, because these are red or white. Oh, yeah. nice. So we can play the hawk on turn one, this on turn two, another one on turn two, and then nothing unless we draw a um, Okay, but that is, a red. that is some aggro right there, isn't it? But I think this is this is aggression. Yeah, it's mm. exactly what we want. It's bird, boy, bird, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> yeah. You you try and beat the bird boy boy brigade. There we go, and we do yeah. our bloody uh, and we got our mountain anyway. too. This is a good start, boys. It's a good. Start. You might as well just concede right now. Birdo's here. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's, he's got his own Birdo. My bug. Um. Okay, cool. I think we want to put. Um. Oh no, hang on a second. Yeah, this does. Plus two, plus two. So we can... Oh, we could just enchant our bird. Instead of playing this, just get the bird boy big. And what does his bug do? It gets bigger every time he scries. Yeah. Because that could get out of hand. Well, I mean, this is basically damage that we can start putting on the face right now. Yeah, this and, is damage for next turn. And it's lifelink with the rage, right? So that heals us as well. Yeah. And also we can play... Next turn we can play a recruit and this. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to raid up. Angry the hawk is going to get furious. And we're going to fucking smash him in the face. Um, bam. Hawk coming in. His creature is good. We do we're need to. Some extra batteries. We do need to kill it at into some the point. Hawk. But I feel like we're just going to. There's, there's some more. Oh, the Veil 2. Mm. Does that mean he gets two tokens? Two, two tokens or one? It does deal two damage to him, which is what we want to see. Oh, okay, right. he only gets one token per instance, not per... Mm. Mm. A fool. A fool. A fool of a took. So, um, when um, you play cards, if yeah. you watch, you see the um Oh, you can change which ones to cast. Yeah, so sometimes you do need to be a little bit, bit careful. careful. Yeah, I see what you mean. I think we just haste this guy into combat. All right. And just face, face, face. Fucking hell. Nine. Oh man, that's spooky, isn't it? This this deck's kind of like fast. What we could do is go recruit, maximize velocity on it again for another. Oh three days, wow! That would mean chucking away the planes, which we'd almost never. But then get we'd be one off out. lethal. Yeah, and then the hawk. But if the hawk gets, I mean, the hawk is gonna get blocked by this thing when he surveils again. But if he wastes time surveilling, it doesn't get doesn't get more creatures out. It's dangerous because if he gets a blocker that is like a 1-3. Oh, there we go. It's another Birdo. But still, the recruit can chop them both up. That's true. And I mean, we can use this to put this out of range of that being a trade. Do you see what I mean? But you can block with both. Risk factor. Perfect. Do we make him take four damage? Do you see what I mean? I kind of like the, the fresh-faced boy with the maximized velocity because then we can just send both the boys in. Um, and... Yeah. Hmm. All right, fine. Because both boys, if he blocks, he dies. There's no trading involved. Well, I mean, uh, I have to say, I have to chuck a card for this. So, am I chucking the whelp? Yeah. All right. So we're going the boys, big boys, big boys. What are you gonna do? I mean, the alternative is trade this so it can't. It can't. Mm, I don't think we want to trade at this point. No, but it's gonna die. That's the point. He's gonna block it here. And these are both going to die. And then we hit for two, five, which puts him on four life. Then we don't have a hawk anymore. I'd rather keep mean? the hawk. Exactly. I mean, we can buff this now. Oh, and then he just, but then he just lets it through. Okay. Well, yeah, that works too. I think we have to. Okay. Buff I think the hawk. the better play. Chuck the whelp. Um, cool. Just to put it out of range. He hasn't got any mana up. The hawk survives. And he takes two if he chumps this, otherwise he's on th three health. And then this obviously either kills him or draws us three cards. Yeah, which is exactly what we need right now. Ah. What is a risk factor like? What do you think that represents? Has he got some kind of machine there? Is it Steve Electric? Oh my God, it's like, it's, a, it's Steve. That actually looks, <laughs> if you haven't seen what Steve looks like. This is him in the studio. This is him right now. He's plumbed in. He's and wires he's in his brain. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. No that you got red button there is, is for if any <laughs> boobs or anything come up on the <laughs> screen. And he has to like fucking quickly, quickly drop the screen. Oh, man. Steve, you're going to win us this. All oh, right. Oh, he's got all flyers. 
So I think we just slap the risk factor immediately. And we can do it twice in a row if we wanted to. Why? Just jump start. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, okay. Oh, my God. That's r I forgot it's a jump start card. We have never jump started this, have we? No. It's because we save it. Maybe we don't even need to be saving it. Because uh, if oh, we, if we had jump started it last time, it would have forced him to trade. Okay, right, let's, let's just, just do this. Because he has to give us the cards. He can't counter it. Mm -hmm. he's so he's going to give us three cards. And then we can just attack with everything. And then... I think so. Well, we have so much health that we don't care if... Um, he's on one health. If he, and then we can jump start again, draw even more cards. Oh, no, hold on. He's going to... Um, more stuff. What? Mm. What, what, what? Oh, just his Drake kills our recruit. Yeah, but one of the Drake... One of the recruits... One of the recruits gets through. Yeah. What's he, how did this get tapped? Did he attack? He attacked us with it. Yeah. Pocky. Oh, look at all these new cards. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. Righteous Blow. So, he can block, but then we can kill it. So, um, Hawk doesn't die. Okay, but we can still put a Hawk out as well. Righteous Blow only works when they attack us, I think. No, blocking. Attacking or blocking. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, we attack with everything. Mm -hmm. He blocks up. And then, and then we just snipe him. We snipe the 3-1. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So we yeah, don't we do. lose the hall. Yeah, 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 yeah. But unfortunately, because he's already assigned a blocker, it doesn't We don't get through, but we kill his guy. Yeah. That's the main thing. And we put another hawk down just to fucking try and... Okay, so now... I guess next turn we can decide whether we want to risk factor again. Well, why would we? Which I think we should do. Yeah. Um... Uh, but to be honest, he, I think we've got lethal next turn. Unless he puts down another creature, he just can't block us. Surprisingly, I mean, Magic, you can survive on one health if you've got enough block stuff. But he yeah, said nice. So no. Oh, my God, we're doing it. We're doing it. Do we turn into a woman. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a cat. We've got ghost cat. cat. Ghost oh, bow. That's Vivian. Vivian of the arc bow. You're right. That's the one Shin had yeah. in our game. Got shark hands. The fucking fresh face boys. Oh, our prize, and their mum and dad. Oh shit. shit, I missed it. Sorry, Ben. We're Navi right. was telling us about it and I was like, I don't want to do it. Right, we've got all the cards anyway. <laughs> the boys, the boys have done good. These boys are great. I'm They're glad so keep, good. I'm glad we keep drawing them. <laughs> yeah. The birds are good. The birds are winning this us. This guy game. is good. It's all good, man. Is there a card in here we haven't played? Is it just Space Pope? This guy is, is good. We have never played the Space Pope. No. And he's going to lose us the game when he comes down. Come on! <laughs> you wasted your card on me! Uh, this guy's mm. been great. Just about. We could discard if we don't want him. This is good. I've never played it, but... I mean, we've never played it. And in fact, maybe it isn't good. Maybe. Don't know. Maybe it's bad. Well, the nice thing is, with all the Jumpstart cards, any cards we don't want, we just make them into other cards. It's true. We just discard it. I mean, actually, this is probably bad, isn't it? Definitely Clarion. I mean, judging by the, the plays that we've been making. The style of games we've had, this does not match our play style, without a doubt. It's a, it's a rare card, but it's I mean, not, it doesn't we fit don't our need deck, it. Really. Let's chuck it. Let's chuck it, Ben. I keep forgetting we can change. What do we, what do we, put, in? What do we put in? We could put in something, anything. Something cheap. put in some Tesla coils. Nah. That's what electrocuted Steve. <laughs> 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 if Steve actually has a heart problem because of the electric shock he had yesterday, we will not be fucking laughing. Oh, he's coming in. I'm sorry, Steve. <laughs> sorry, Steve. Back in your back in your. He was gonna console. give me a dramatic punch. <laughs> 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 we're not we're not laughing at Steve potentially dying. People, this is not cool. Do not laugh at at, at potential serious consequences. No. Um, uh, what do we want? I don't think we want any of this. You want the book boy? No, I like the picture, but he actually doesn't fit our deck at all. He's pretty bad. Um, uh, should we take the space pope? Right. Uh, put another space pope. <laughs> Do we need more space popes? Or another maximized velocity? <laughs> pretty good. I like the haste, but I feel like we've got enough haste coming in. We have. Maximized velocity. Uh, how about the silent dart, Ben? No, it's garbage. It is, it is wank. <laughs> but you never know. You never know when you need three damage. It's wank, isn't it? It's temple total. Well, let's just put the, the deafening explodio in. The deafening what? Just for when the, the big the big bang that we had already. Like that's the deafening a, if we're in trouble, if we're on the back foot, that can clear the board. It's true, but we're always going to have stuff on the board. Cause that's our deck. We might not though. You know, we might draw bad, and then we'll need it. All right. So what if you? Okay, fine. We'll put it back in. All right. So all of that. And we didn't change it. We don't change what's working. How many? Are we, are we on four wins? No, don't fix it. We're on four wins. Five wins? 
It's Death Sea again. Oh dear. Did we smash him last time? Yeah, we just smashed him. Is he the same guy we just played? Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, 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 mm, this is risky. It's but we do have enough land to get three of our cards out. And your opponent goes first. So what's good about that? It means that we get to draw one straight away. Oh, of see. course, yes, we get an extra card. So we effectively get an extra card, but it's OK, we do need a land. Oh, oh no, no, oh, the misplays already. already Turn misplays. one, misplays. Come on. That's, that's going to cost us the game, Ben. We're better than that. That's going to cost us the game. It man. really is. Oh. Don't worry, we've got the fresh face, boy. He's gonna get. He's gonna get we've locked had down. This thing, have we've before. had this match up before. Yeah, we've seen this. I saw this. Don't worry, we've got enough healing and stuff between us that we'll be all right. Oh god, I'm a bit scared. I need a land, pretty bad. Yeah, we do. We really need a bad land. No blockers. We we'll take two. That's fine. Why, actually, do we okay to do that? Because I'm quite happy trading with really? that thing. Yeah. Our guy's better on the attack. Yeah, but I feel like. Oh, but we at least we do that. We can get both our. Oh, yeah. He's got the hay. Yeah, 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 yeah. In we go. We're right. just base racing with this way. Right? right now, he's going to surveil this to make it stronger, or he's going to go lockdown with the guild mate. See, this is probably why we should have traded. Yeah. Because he could lock down better creatures. Lock down better stuff. But we can kill this in a couple of ways, but not very many ways. We probably should have traded. Ah well. Don't You're worry, right. we've got that You're clarion right. thing. We we've got the clarion thing. Don't worry. What clarion thing? The clarion call, whatever it's called. What are you talking about? The clarion thing. Like, oh, look at that. that is. Four. The, the, the deafening clarion. The one we just took oh, out. Oh, the, the board wipe. Yeah. Yeah, look, that doesn't even kill that, though. So he's going to surveil. This is going to get bigger. Yeah. But he hasn't got the mana to um, sort of force him to do this We can play next turn. We can't actually play this thing. But we can play both hunt, hunted witnesses. And he goes. Mm. Scary. Oh, we've right. Got, we've got mana now. We can have the. I think we should captain. play a big boy. Yeah, Captain. Assemble. We can't actually attack with the fresh face recruit because it would just die into this. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we should keep, keep the whole board up? Um, or just poke him with the Sky Knight? I think we should just attack. Or maybe we should wait because he can't. If we don't tap, he can't make us tap. Get it? That's all right. We'll just attack that. Hmm. We might just lock that guy down forever now, though. Well, I didn't want to just throw this to his death by trading it in. There's no point tr attacking with this because it would just die for no reason. So he might as well... He, if he attacks with the 2-2, two -two, I can then block it. And that's okay, which, which I should have done a while back. But actually, I'm okay with, with losing a bit of life and a bit of life because I know I've got quite a lot of life link. Well, it's just the birds, isn't it? Well, the clarion call also does... Oh, the Make current does life yeah, yeah. one turn. So you can do a big old swing to heal yourself up if you're in a bad situation. Mm. Science with Ben is telling me to look at the stream. But I don't know what he's telling me to look at. Three mana to lock down a 2-2 two -two is bad. It is bad. You're right. But he can potentially use he it. He could knock down a... Yeah. Now. What's he doing? He's charging up. Something is coming. Capture, Capture sphere. Sphere. Uh, Oh, no. Um... Is that perma taps now? Yeah, it's locked down. We've got nothing to clear enchantments, have we? No. Shit. Nothing. So that's gone forever. Um, that's all right. Should we just chase down another there. captain? I think so. Yeah. And then we attack him for two with our Sky Knight. Okay. I do like this attack all button. Yeah, that's handy. a nice button. Wish they had that in other games. All right. So, I mean, the great thing is he, we can keep taking two, sure. That's not great for us, but um, we, have got, we well. have got ways out of it. Um, and it's like whoever breaks first, really. And since he's playing against red, he should know that you know he, I might have burn stuff. If I can get one more land, I can play this, which is useful. Um, hmm. I like that we've got all of our, like, guild, mage our guild boys out. You know, they're all the, the white and red. Like, we've got our nice. boy, we've got our mum, yep. we've got our second mum, and we've got, got our brother. Yep. Or uncle and Steve is obviously not here. Where's Steve? Steve's the that guy. This guy. The, the hunted witness. No, yeah. no, no. Steve's that crazy goblin. Oh, guy. the crazy goblin and plugged into the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the good button. All right, he's locking down our um, flying haste boy, which is a problem. But not, that, not that bad. Ah, we can get the whelp, and the whelp can burn the frog next turn. It can. Ah. Oh. 
Now, we can attack with this, which will obviously trade with the frog. Nah, save it. Because we just burn the frog next turn for free. I'm a bit concerned, though. He's going to cast a spell. Yeah. This is going to come flying over and hit me for te like five. Oh, you at think least. he's going to kill us? Do you see what I mean? It's a little bit spooky. Um, Do I want to actually attack into him? Probably not. I, I could probably one shot kill him given a certain time. Well, if we can just draw the. Um, it's definitely not worth me killing the. Trying to, trying to just sacrificing this into the frog. No. Because um, we get the frog for free next turn. Yeah. Oh, man, this is closer, isn't it? No, so these, these things, when they die, they give us a soldier Soldiers token, which has got lifelink. Um, but don't worry, I've got a plan. So mm. next turn, we're going to play out all these guys, and then, in the, and then obviously, he needs six mana, tap three damage. If we can get him low enough, we can snipe him out. What does the guild mage do? Um, he can... Oh, three. Yeah. To each opponent. Oh, right, no, yeah. Yeah. Worried that was us for a sec. So he's thinking right now, <laughs> he can't really attack with this. Well, this is thing's called no. Menace, though, so it can attack, right? Oh, because we need two menace things to block maybe it. blocked by two creatures. Mm -hmm. And this thing now has, um, if he casts a spell, this thing has flying. I'm just a bit scared to take seven damage, but if he does attack, it leaves him very vulnerable. Well, he'd only, get, he'd only give us five damage. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, this thing, this thing, when it does block, it will hit him back. Flips the damage back. But if he's flying over me, I mean, so if he casts the sorcery right now, or he uses this to veil two, obviously it taps this. What's he doing? Uh, X oh, turn X target fuck. creature to their, to their own. Oh, hands. that's just changed everything. Shit. I think we're actually fine because of the creature type of your choice. So he's returned humans, but this thing isn't a human, so he couldn't return it. Yeah, but I don't think we want to trade. We don't. Because we just insta-kill it next turn. We do. Um, that's a guild gate. Which yeah. We are definitely no reason not to play that. We might as well go combat right now, since there's no advantage not to. Yeah. Um, this pings this to death. He then probably is not going to block. I want to play out. We need uh, to get the maximum number of creatures out, I think. I should have played this. Oh, we missed the haste attack. No, we would have just traded, though. Like, that's not great. Would he have traded, though? Would he have traded? I think I want to be able to have it out to block anyway. Yeah, I think you're right. One of the... We'll get the... Um, oh, the guild we'll mage. get the guild mage out. Guild it's actually mage, more yeah. useful, because it might give us lethal. It might not. I think he might... Yeah. Mm, no, it's just... Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, tapping his creatures, that would be great. That is helpful to like stop the attacks coming in. That's probably more like what it's supposed to be used for. I think. Okay, so oh, that's shit. gonna put that's something to three, three three. Shit. Which makes it tricky, but he I don't think he has Do I wanna block his I'm thinking now do I wanna block a three three with a two two? I don't feel like you would do one. Either. I feel like we wanna just strike back. I can't okay. anyway because it's got menace. Because we so can no, we can tap him. Oh, we can't block it. But well, now we've got our guild mage out. We can just keep it tapped. That's true. Yeah, that's true. All right. Oh my, oh my this is a really tense close game. Because look, our, our life totals are pretty low. Yeah. I assume he's going to swing in because he feels. I feel. I feel like he's under pressure Ooh. enough that he has to. He knows what I've got in my yeah, hand. Yeah, he's anyway. coming. He's coming. I can't block it, so I'm on four. Um. But now we need I to basically just it. keep that tap for the rest of the game. That's but if I tap this, he can then tap this. See what I mean? Oh, we can counter counter tap. Yeah. Well, not this turn. He can't. So he's keeping my whelp tapped. Yeah. So we just need to do it. We both need to keep each other's flyers tapped. Is he dead? What do you mean? Is he dead? No. Okay. The guild mage can do three to the face. Yeah, he's. I can do three, oh. or five. Hang on, what have we got? No, I can't. Sorry, I don't have any haste stuff. I thought I might have the six mana. But we need to keep three mana spare for the guild mage, right? So do we drop in the minotaur? 
Oh, well, we don't have anything to cast with it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's true. I think we just want to play we probably ha we the have to captain and the two. We have to keep enough to keep the guild mage ready. How much does the guild mage need? Oh, I see. We need to we need to keep that spare. So we have two red and one white we can spend. Yeah, we need no, no, no. We can't. We, we can't get two of them out. We can get one. We can get one witness and the fresh face recruit. Because we need, um, we, we need can't one, spend another white. white. We need to keep a white free. So you want to play the recruit like that? Uh, yeah. And then, oh no, uh, yeah. Then okay. Then go combat, attack. This thing can attack. That thing can attack, but that's it. And then we end the turn, and then straight away. And then, yeah. Before, before the attack phase. Before the attack tap phase, we tap. Right. But I can do it in response anyway. So if he, if he like, tries to kill this, this, is always, this ability is always going off, yeah. basically. Uh, but once it's tapped, he can tap it. Do you understand? With he can keep thing. it tapped. I know that. Yeah. yeah. But then, if he, but then our dragon's if he chooses to tap it, our dragon will come back. And then yeah. it will fucking kill him, I think. Because he won't have enough to block. So now we tap this thing. Which he can't do anything about. Because he doesn't... Well, unless he has a thing which is counter target ability, which so that is a card. It does magic. exist, but it's pretty rare. It's on, um, it's on cancel, I think, which was in the last set. So, yeah, okay. But, I mean, he is blue, so shenanigans are not out of the question. Yeah, yet. no, shenanigans are part, part of the game. And then, does that informant of his do anything, or is it just a one form? It just um, just gets surveilled. Oh dear, that changes. What is that? Isn't it? A, just a four just five. A four five five. That's fine because we can just chump it forever with one ones. Yeah. Like this is fine. That doesn't actually change anything as long as we don't overcommit in an attack. How much mana does he need for his thing? Two. Okay, so we can do it. Hmm. Oh man, this is so, well. This is this game's on a knife edge. He's going to do it now. He did it to our guild mage like we expected. Yeah, and now it's our turn. But now we've got our dragon up, so so we, we can. Oh, can we get plus two attack any anyway? <laughs> no shit. We're too off lethal. Um, so we need to keep our dragon back to stop his. Well, this vibe hawk bug. can chump. The, oh no, because we need to have two guys to chump yeah. the bug. Do we just build up board here? Because we can't spend any mana or anything else. Well, how much have we got? We've got six. So we can play the captain and the hawk and the witness? W we could send in the Sky Knight Legionnaire to attack. Yeah. Because then we still have two flyers to block with. I'm just a little bit concerned that he's going to find some, some way to remove bullshit it way to just sneak by. Yeah, maybe just build board then. I mean, he has one card, so... Oops. Well, that was a misplay. What did you do? I played the wrong card. I thought I'm really paying attention. Dude. Should have played this. I've wasted our um, thingy. Shit. See, because I just played it and it automatically took picked, the wrong colours. the wrong lands. Yeah, Fuck. my bad. I'm not going to attack because I feel like if we had a big enough board or we draw anything, we can just spank him. Yeah. We should attack. Well, it's tricky. All right, fine. All right, fine. Okay, this will make it easier for us next turn as well. All right, he's got two cards. Can he kill us? If not, he's probably dead. That's, that's basically what we're dealing with here. Um, this thing coming in can be blocked by this and this, yeah. which will trade, but that's fine. And then this thing can be chumped. This thing can be chumped. This thing can be chumped. So, like, we're okay. And then we can strike back for a lot. Um, Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Oh man, this is this is so tight. Another oh, guy. Shit. Okay, that guy can make people unblockable. Target so can't be blocked. Yeah. So shit. he can do that right now. Oh, so he's just one. So he's, he's got us GG. lethal. Well, that was what I was scared of. Oh damn it. Well, there's nothing we could have done. Even if we'd gone all out attack, we wouldn't have killed him. Oh, well played. Oh, yeah, man, he took his time doing that, didn't he? 
Good game. Oh, well played, uh, sir. Scary stuff. That was close. That could have been anyone's game. That was maybe maybe oh, we, we didn't draw any any of our like cheeky None little of our spells. Cheeky little just kills. Had creatures. What we needed was the what's it called? That card. The no one can block. <laughs> the, we, the we win card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that feels bad. Oh. That was rough. Oh, holy crap. Oh, we we, we want to carry on playing, and we are going to carry on playing. We're going to play um, one more game. Is there anyone on after us? Who's who's on after us? No one is oh, on after oh, us. Steve has to go. Apparently, uh, shady ladies are coming up, and we do have Shit. to stop. We have to stop. Oh, my God. I really want to know Shit. whether we're going to get to the end of this or not. But, you know, I think... I think five wins is pretty good anyway. I want to just carry on playing with our, our dad deck. Um, thanks for watching anyway, guys. This has been our stream. Uh, I should have, I should have, I should have sped. And yeah, I doomed you with the misplay turn one. That was that was where we yeah, went. Yeah, we missed out on that haunted if witness. If I didn't fucking mess that up, we would have, we would have, we would have definitely won. Um, wow, that went really quick. It went very quick, didn't it? Once that we went way that quicker deck. than we expected. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Shady ladies coming up next. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully, they'll play some retro games. Um, until then, uh, I will just very quickly check if there's any messages that have come in yeah, from good, from good th any donors because because I do want to do want to check that. SST said draft draft draft. Thank you. Uh, Magic cast said, did you guys ever play Knights and Merchants? It's not fully combat oriented, but it is a fun strategy mm. game. Write that down, Ben. That's Knights and Merchants. Um, Got it. And Ben's number one fan says, when's Ben getting his own channel? Question mark. Don't know. Uh, the answer is to know. <laughs> Carl Wash says, uh, boxers or briefs? I wear boxers. I wear briefs. Oh, interesting. There you go. Now you know. Now Too you much know. information. Question answered. Uh, why don't you ask the same question to the shady ladies when they come up, and you will probably get banned. <laughs> uh, it's different, isn't it, asking ladies? Ladies. What was it called? Merchants and something? Merchants and knights. Knights, knights and merchants. Okay, you got it. Okay, thank you, Magic Cast. Thank you, Fez and Thank you, all of you guys, for watching. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.